every time till it's normal why worship legends when you know that you can't join it if these niggas don't like me they don't like me likely they want to fight me come on try it out try me they put me down but i never cried out why me we're from the wise don't put worth inside a nigga that ain't tried to the moonlight and i'm speeding i made it to the stars ready to go far and start walking
Take charge. Fight. Who's next in line? Can you make that climb? Now is the time. Get out of your mind. Raise up the lights. We all here tonight. So let's do it right. Yo, we came here to fight. Who's next in line? Can you make that climb? Now is the time. This world is mine. Raise up the lights. We all here tonight. So let's do it right. Yo, we came here to fight. Positive, negative. I'll take charge and shake eyes. Remain great while I pay homage. They always said that pressure can make. So keep climbing all the way up, that's where you'll find me. Right next to the legends, I go off my bridge and said goodbye to the old me. I'ma make sure that you know me. After this, here you gon' owe me. Didn't choose a game, it chose me. You know what G owe me to an OG. Let's go. Fight, who's next in line? Can you make that climb? Now is the time, get out of your mind. Raise up the lights, we all here tonight. So let's do it right. Yo, we came here to fight. Who's next in line? Can you make that Can you make that climb? Now is the time. Get out of your mind. Raise up 
fight. Yeah. Get your back off the wall. Come on, yeah. Come one, yeah. Come all. Get up, yeah. Get your back off the wall. Come on, yeah. Come one, yeah. Come all. From the eye of the Horus If you Alexander the Great Then I am the Boris Coming straight from the mud Like I am a lotus So hati yon ka bal Kaise sakke ga Tum mujhe roka Dek tu kaise me ladu Tum logo se aise na darun Karu me jisse me tarun Pani pe chalo me jisse me varun Chahe me jiu ya maru Jo karna chahu me wahi to karun Aata hai tu na kareeb Tu bete cheap Jab hi na kate na Teri ye cheap Better believe You gonna be Take up a seat Get your team I'm the king of kings Brother in arms in a battle You all gonna die if you act like a vandal Bring the realm to reality from every angle This is the public service announcement From Mumbai to the rest of the world I am a Raja huh. I am the Raja Bidega to utega jana zana Tu meri taraf ana Aagaya to hoga fir tana zana
Alright, welcome back to the South Dakota Mines eSports stream. My name's Coach T. I'm Compton. And we're here to, to bring you back CCL week number three. Mines taking on the famed NDSU Bison. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've ever beaten them. No, but we've been close. Have we? Okay. I mean, in the CCL finals last year, we put on a hell of a show against yeah, these we guys. Did. Yeah. And honestly, there's like I told like I tell everybody, there's a reason I had no voice by by the end of game one. <laughs> I was out. Razzle Dazzler had to carry me the rest of the way. Yep. <laughs> but we're here, we're back, and we're here to talk about this new NDSU squad. But first, let's talk about what happened last match. And if you missed it, it was one hell of a match. As we can see, UNL pulling up. It was actually a really close fight. Yeah, there was and a that, lot of those. Though. Yeah, but this won us the game. Yeah, no, this this won us game two. Uh, I think a lot of the problems that came down when it came down to it with UNL was their target acquisition. They they normally brought down garlic and went straight onto the eighty carry rather than focusing the masters. Uh, which was the carry the entire game. After the first three fights, you'd think, okay, well maybe this kindred is is whooping us, so maybe we should focus her. Not once. Right, I, and honestly, it it, it, it was kind of crazy to see. How it did not shift. There was no shift of gameplay at all, and Mines took complete advantage of that yep. and absolutely wiped the floor with you guys 2-0, and honestly, pretty solid victories at that. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, look at this garlic. This garlic is down 0-2 at this was so kill. close, and he missed the boom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's just unfortunate for Wolf there because garlic just barely hit. And here, wait, right there. The Kindred, yeah. The Kindred yeah, this sitting is sitting in the back. This ignored. is exactly what we were talking about. Kindred is just able to sit over the wall here and farm kills. Like, Mo Jojo is cut off from the rest of his entire team, and they still don't do anything about flex serve here in the back line. And it looks dire for mines, but then there's just the low health values come through, and flex serve is just so fed. Yep. And now it's just there's not much they can do. That flash. That was a not a great flash, but. But it got his flash in the end. Yeah, so, it, I mean, it, it went equal, but he should save that for when he actually has the ability to root him. Absolutely. And here, this is that really nice Seraphine R. See, it, it yeah, seems like three collapse and garlic, but garlic's able to play it pretty nicely and give time for as Seraphine. As much as we were dogging on the Seraphine pick, it actually ended up being really good. Absolutely, and they had they had no idea it was coming, and garlic walks out free and clear there. I, I, lambs are spite. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, but hey. And then this is the fight that ended game number two, one. Game number one. Okay. Yep, and garlic teleported from behind. At Kindred in the back stuck, and they didn't focus her again. Look yeah. at that. She couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> and just ignored her. Went for Twitch, I think. Right, and Pop Blossom does kill Twitch, but at the end, it's just they don't find the Kindred. Kindred's just so high health, and they, yeah. they're not able to do anything. And honestly, and, really well played. And Twitch in this game, I want to oh, say he speaking was... Speaking of Twitch... This oh, is, yeah, this was this awesome. This is a banger <laughs> Twitch clip. It <laughs> 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 wow. Honestly, that should have won a mighty and meaty right there. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe if he didn't go 0-5. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Oh, my, so true. But yeah, honestly, if you missed it, really good fight here. And again, here's the start of that. The last I think this started off with a bad ultimate by Bagels. Yeah, it kind of goes a little bit wide, and 
honestly, it it just doesn't end up the way mine's does. But that brings us back to the top, which means we can move on to tonight's lineups, if we can. Again, I believe everybody's happy, everybody's healthy. Uh, again, on the Mines roster, we got Garlic in the top lane, Flexserve in the jungle, Edgo in the mid lane, Elusive and Bagels in the bot lane with sub substitutions, Samippy Dog. Uh, I severely doubt so, uh, <laughs> God, what is happening in my chat right now? <laughs> Somebody get rid of this guy. <laughs> That's even funnier. That's so great. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here, but, um, Again, these guys have been playing together for a while. You get a few new new players here and there, but um, ultimately a pretty similar roster than last season. And, yep. and honestly, they've been playing well all season. So, hello, Smippy Dog. I see you. Don't worry. You better not be the one that typed that naughty word. I will find <laughs> you. Anyway, you want to go over the Bison's roster? Uh, we got what is that? Fire Alpha on the top lane. We've got Crocodile in the jungle. Storm Stars in mid. Chaos as ADC and without truth as the support. Oh, yeah! And honestly, like I mentioned before, just like our roster, these guys have played together for a while. Few new faces, but not ultimately a brand new team. Um, well, and notably, the bot lane is still the same one, and uh, bot their lane bot lane, and lane is really good. Absolutely, and you know, Chaos and with Truth, both super good diamond bot laners. They play really well together. And they pair it with Storm Stars, which has been a mid laner in CCL for a long time now, sitting at Demon, a uh, Diamond Demon, <laughs> Demon <laughs> Diamond One. So ultimately, these guys are a force to be reckoned with. There is a reason that this is tonight's, or this is, or tonight's the matchup for number one. Um, speaking of that, what are what are our thoughts? What, and in predictions, we'll talk about, we'll go lane by lane and see, talk about how everything goes. Okay. Um, so we can start with top lane. Let's start with top lane, which is going to be the Garlic versus the Fire Alpha matchup. Uh, I, Garlic and Matt Fire Alpha pretty even on rank. So I, I think it's going to be a, a, a standstill. I think it's going to come down to if jungle comes top lane, I think that'll either swing the lane uh, either direction, I guess, depending on how the ganks go. But I, I think it's just going to be a, a standstill unless one gets counterpicked. Right. I, I could kind of agree with that. You know, Garlic's normally a pretty aggressive top laner. Uh, he plays, it, I guess it, what I'm saying is, it depends on what kind of picks Garlic gets gets out of tonight. I think if Garlic ends up on the Gwen, I think it'll be an absolute train wreck in the top lane, no matter what happens. But if it's uh, if it's on a more passive pick like the Maokai or maybe even a Malphite, it's possible. And I'm saying that will definitely slow the lane down a bunch. I don't know. I, I think Garlic's our most consistent player on the oh, team, though. Absolutely. And even Minus if, our Masters jungler. But. Okay, yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> except the new Masters jungler. Garlic was the most uh, consistent player on our team. Right. So uh, I'm hesitant to say that even if he gets the Gwen pick, I'm, I'm not sure that it's going to be a roll. I think he might struggle a bit. I haven't seen his Gwen recently. But, right. yeah, I, I think it's going to be a pretty standstill lane. Okay, I like that. And I guess we can move straight into the jungle from that point. Uh, you know, talk about Crocodile and uh, our uh, boy, Mr. Andrew. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't seen Crocodile play yet. I, 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 you know, I'll be honest. I haven't watched any streams in which he's played. I think it comes down to if their entire team fa goes to just face the jungler. I, I right. think that's the only way I see him not doing well. And honestly, I could, I could see that happening. NDSU, a very... Uh, you know, a very flexible team, and, yeah. and they're they're used to that kind of thing. So I, I think you know they're going to look at the the failures of the teams before, and <laughs> they will start to roll out some more. I, I honestly fully expect to see more jungle bands this entire game. I think we'll see the same three. Really? Uh, yeah, I really do. I think they'll let Kindred through. I I, I don't think everybody's been letting Kindred through, and that's just wild to me. Uh, but nobody was countering it, and, and all the teams we've played, nobody's gone to. Okay, there's Kindred camp. Make sure let's keep an eye on it. In every game that I've watched, they've just ignored Kindred and let her do whatever she wanted throughout the game, and that's what makes Kindred strong. Right. Right. I agree with that. Uh, we'll talk about the mid lane matchup. Now, this is a rematch from CCL Finals. <laughs> uh, Storm Stars versus Edgo. I will note that, you know, there has been a little bit of uh, back and forth between the two. Um, and I think it all depends on, it all falls on the Sazir pick. Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> yeah, it'll come down to bands. It'll be who whoever gets what first. 
Yeah, I agree. Because, you know, at, at the LAN, you know, Edgo took the Azir pick and he actually ran Stormstars over. Yep. And it wasn't even close. And Stormstars, as an Azir main, kind of took that to heart. And I'm betting you any money that he... What is happening? What is happening in my chat? Everybody get out, <laughs> bro. What is happening? But, uh, you know, uh, he, he took it and he played it really well in Stormstars. And Stormstars is out for revenge. And I think that if Stormstars gets the Azir, I think it'll be deadly into Ed Edgo. Yeah, no, I mean, his Azir looks really good. I know last season it looked insanely good. Um, so, yeah, it, I don't think they can afford to let that pick fall into his hands. I think it, if we can't get it first, it'll be banned, if not banned every game. I agree with that. And honestly, I, that's all I really have to say about the mid lane matchup. I think it's yeah. just it comes down to who gets the Azir or what happens yep. with that. Uh, furthermore, though, I'd like to talk about the bot lane. And I think this is going to go one way and one way only, and it's going to end in Bagels and Elusive just under tower constantly. Yeah, you know, I know yeah. these, I know Chaos, and I know Without Truth. They play really well. They play super aggressive. You know, Flex serves girlfriends in chat. Flex have girlfriend. If you're there, hit me up. I'm Coach D. <laughs> I can steal my player's girlfriend. So that's just how oh, it works. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I'm not a player anymore. Can't. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think, honestly, the bot lane is going to be playing weak side. Uh, it's just going to be a recap of last yeah, week, I think. I, I think they just need to farm. They need to pick, like, a Sifr champion and just farm the game away. I, I think that yeah. is, they their goal should be equal. They should just keep it dead. Negate the da neg negate the, the bonus yeah, in the bot lane it, as much it, as possible. Focus the team elsewhere. No jungle ganks. Just farm it. Yeah, and honestly, I, I have faith in Rat's ability to do that. Rat doesn't definitely has a commanding... A position over the bot lane and he honestly he's a very good leader and I, I think him and bagels will do fine yeah and honestly as long as we get into that late game i think bagels is a phenomenal team fight player if, if we give him, him I mean, if we give him a champion he's comfortable with absolutely absolutely and he knows how, how to navigate fights and I, I think that as long as we can get to that stage that's that's where our bot lane will succeed into the team fight uh you know team fight scenario not right. in the early game for sure not but uh, now for a final prediction. Best of three. Yeah, I think it's going to go to three games. It, I think it'll go three games for sure. And um, I don't know. I don't know how to call this one. I'm kind of nervous to say it, to, to I, call it. Because it's kind of a gonna tough be, call. It's going to be close. I think, yeah, like I said, it depends. I think we'll know based off what they're, ha they're going to pick first game. I think we, we'll watch the first game. We'll know how it's going to go. Either it's going to be nail biting or it's just going to be one sided. I, I think it's going to be either close or we're going to get stomped. Absolutely. I think that's the only, we're not. I don't think we're going to stomp them like we we have. I in I the agree. Past games. I agree. I agree. You know, it's it's definitely kind of a toss up, and honestly, this is probably the the game of the semester. Yeah, this, this if we win this game, it's we'll it's, be a, it's a solid pretty. first. Like that would be put us in first place yep. by a good margin. And um, honestly, I'd be the first time I think we've ever been first place ever, which is crazy. At any point during the season, <laughs> so even in week one when nobody's won, I don't think we've ever been placed first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So our I, chat is going crazy. Holy I know crap. what the hell. Andrew brings his friends in here, and it's just crazy. <laughs> you guys are gonna blow up my chat. At least donate money. Come on. <laughs> you know I'm I'm poor. You gotta pay my bills, dude. Honestly, you gotta you gotta fix my mental after watching this. Like what what am I <laughs> what am I reading right now? But anyway, um, I think that's all for now. I think we're gonna send it to a quick break before we get into uh, to draft game one. So we'll get it all set up and we'll be back in just a moment. There's a power. 
back and ready with game number one draft. Mine's on the right, NDSU on the left. Kindred. And already bands different. Like I mentioned, I yeah, said we're okay. going to see more yeah. jungle bands coming out. So they let Yorick or Azir through? Well, they're not going to ban away the Azir because they have the blue. Yeah, they banned the Yorick. So th this is going to force Mines' hand to ban the Azir, I think. I don't my, I don't think Mines has really any options right now other to ba other than to ban the Azir. I would not let it through. Um, I, I have seen it played. Uh, we've played against it. And honestly, I, I the only reason I would say, because honestly, any other day we could let it through. But I know for a fact that Storm Stars is after revenge, and we don't want yeah, that. Yeah, there it is. You know, he's going to be playing balls to the wall. And I think that's a fantastic ban. Taking away the Azir, banning away the Maokai. Now we kind of have a fresh plate. I actually have no idea what to expect out of Mines here. What are we going to pick up? What are we going to ban now for the rest yeah, of Yeah, I don't know. Nocturne. Nocturne. Honestly, a common pick. It's a, uh, it's a really good early game pick. Exactly. And honestly, um, super oppressive. And team fights, uh, you can't see anything, so obviously you can't fight. <laughs> yeah. so, right? And so I think that was a fantastic pick, especially towards a team that is a very team fight oriented team like Mines. So what is Mines picking through this? I would expect kind of a bot lane pick here. Because, I mean. Yeah, support and I, at least support. And ADC probably. I think oh, they boy. just pick both of them, leave uh, jungle out. Yeah, really. That's actually a pretty decent pick, I think, because like we safe. mentioned, they're going to be playing very, very safe, and Ezreal's a super safe pick. Yep, absolutely. And it can be aggressive too. It, it could go both ways instead of severe. Severe, she can't. She's defensive. Right. So I think this is really good. Yeah, and what do they pair with in Azir? I, you know, uh, Ezreal. I think. I don't know. Rada's um, not bad. I'm not quite as certain. Nautilus. Oh, Nautilus. Okay. I think that's a pretty good uh, pick. Uh, you know, Nautilus, pretty straightforward jungle, jung or jungler, very straightforward support. And uh, honestly, I can't see a way that Bagels messes this up. I mean, the only way he can, he has one skill shot, so <laughs> he can only miss his hook. True. Yes, his uh, ultimate is definitely guaranteed to hit. And I think NDSU may be looking to pick up the Brahm Ash here. I think that's a possibility. I think that's a pretty based pick. I'm actually all for it. I, I honestly into Nautilus Ezreal. I'm not sure. Or yeah, I kind of figured that was gonna come. Oriana. They, they, didn't, they didn't ban it, and that's what he plays if he doesn't play a zero. So. Right, but now now they give the counter to Mines by doing that. Personally, I think I would have liked to seen. Yeah, I see. I I think it would have been better for them to pick an AD carry. Yeah, I, I agree. But because they're right now they're just giving the counter to Mines, and so Mines can can easily like. Mines could eat free pick jungle or mid right now. And I think so they're going to wait on jungle. I think they're going to grab mid first. I think jungle. I, is I would agree with that. I think. I think. Uh, yep. Syndra. Syndra. Okay. I think that's a pretty big pick into the Oriana. Both are. Yeah, but isn't haven't we discussed like three times now that it goes Syndra is less than coin flip? It's it's definitely less than coin flip, but it has looked good, especially in the last last game. It looked pretty good. He's solid on it, and he definitely has a lot of hours on it this semester. Okay. So I'm starting. To, I'm starting to lean towards the. I like this. I like this. You know, it's not like. Uh, it's not like a pick of all time per se. Right. But I will say, that. Um, that it's it's all right. It's consistent, okay. and I, I think uh, it's either consistently bad or consistently good. <laughs> yeah. That's yet to be seen because it is Kevin. Right. So. <laughs> oh my God, but. All, Jinx taken away uh, again. Getting the, keeping that out of the hands of Chaos Theory. Great, great job there, and keeping it uh, Bane away. Bane, yeah. I, I know. One. I know Chaos absolutely adores the Jinx, and I think that is a really good ban. Um, and the Bane, eh, I haven't seen it as much. I haven't seen Bane as much as I had uh, during the Dazzler days, but it's not a bad. It's ban. not a bad ban. I, I, I like that. Um, and the Jin Zhao in the Alawi. That doesn't Man. surprise me. That's that's garlic, one of garlic's comfort picks if he doesn't get Yorick. Right. Honestly, not a bad ban. I think. No, that was not the yeah. same team. And yeah, now yeah. mine says pick. I, I would agree. I think they're going to give counter to jungle. And um, with Kindred off the board, Graves off the board, I wonder what they're going to pick. Because I haven't. I literally haven't seen any other junglers come out of flex serve. So I'm I'm kind of curious. R.I.P. Graves one trick guy. True. I was gonna say they're they're dogging on him. 
We got a lot of uh, NDSU guys in the chat. <laughs> Must be. Nar picked up for top lane. Yeah, solid. We saw it last week, and honestly, there's some it's, really it's clean good. plays. It's it's hard to counter Nar too, just straight counter him. So yeah, that's a great pick. So they're last picking jungle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it makes it's, sense. Yeah, to me. it makes sense. It's your best player. It's your best player. Yeah. Give him the what he needs. It's who you're gonna be playing for. TF. TF abuser. So uh, does he play AD? <laughs> does he go AP or AD? Is the question. Is he trolling or not? Is that? No. What the heck is that? TF top? No. No. Ain't no way. No, it's mid. It's mid. Maybe. Wait, it's where's Oriana gonna go? That's true. I don't know. I don't think Oriana's got any really good. It could be support. I've seen or ADC even. I've seen Twisted go ADC. Honestly, pretty damn good flex pick. It's definitely gonna keep mines on their heels here. Well, but it doesn't matter. It's a late flex pick. Malphite. So I'm guessing the Twisted AD. pay ADC. Yeah. Yeah, Poppy gonna Poppy be picked top. up. Yeah. Okay. Again, a nice solid uh, pick up there from NDSU. So it's AD Twisted Fate. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. Mixing it up a bit, finding something different than everybody else. Uh, mine's definitely not. Ooh dear. Ooh dear. Huh? That's a weird one. That is. A I did one. not expect that of everything he could have picked. Flex serves trolling us. <laughs> He's giving him a a, a a go. I think we're ready for client draft here pretty soon. But um, what? He's just sending him for a loop. This is the first game. Interesting. Who dear? Who dear of all people? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I think we have up. the better draft though. Yeah. I I do. I, I like, I, I like both. Honestly, I like both drafts. I really am a big fan of both drafts. I'm not. I'm kind of like eh about the TF, eighty carry. But honestly, I could see it working. It's not the end of the world. I don't think. No, I mean, I see. Like I said, I've seen it recently. Recently, these so. guys are really good players. I think they can make it happen. <laughs> Throw it in a bullet. <laughs> what? I will find you, Dumont. I know where you live, Moitment. So don't you ever forget that. And I will remind you that you've lost to NDSU several times. Actually, we did beat NDSU once. Did we? Yes, we did. We actually beat them to go to the CCL finals once. Oh, wow. I totally forgot. It was funny, too, because we got, <laughs> we got swept by them, and then we swept them a week later. That's crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy. I just remember that. As soon as I saw Moitman's name, of course, it's him. Oh, the star. He thinks he's a star, at least. I like to make him think that. <laughs> and I don't think... I gave him Mighty and Meaty like once or twice. I never gave him Mighty and Meaty more than that, though. He's just too good. He doesn't deserve the award. <laughs> 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 Man, what is taking forever to get into client draft? But honestly, you know, I think Mines' draft is a little less chaotic than NDSU's. Yeah. It yeah, like I said, I think it's a little bit more balanced than theirs is. Like I, I feel like they're lacking in, I mean, we've got, what, three tanks, uh, two damage dealers? Yeah. They've, they've got two tanks and three damage dealers. Yeah, there's a lot of front line for mines. I like it. <laughs> Are you even from Compton? Bro, it's no, his last I, name. <laughs> I'm not from Compton. It's my Wait, I just doxed you. Yeah, well, Oof. too late. Too late. R.I.P. My bad, personally, from the bottom of my heart. Oopsie, pay, oopsie, poopsie. Yeah, well, so I'll be, you'll, you'll get a letter from my lawyers. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I'll figure a way around it. Always do. <laughs> I'm Coach T. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm Coach T. <laughs> Death penalty. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. UND is better. TF is broken right now. Okay, yes, I, I get TF is busted right now. I just don't know how to feel about it in the bot lane. You know, I said I've seen it in, in games, so it can't be that bad. I, I, I don't think it's I've, that bad. I've seen it quite a bit. Uh, huh. Udyr game. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm actually really am excited to see this Udyr played. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of curious. It, it's, 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 it's Andrew's, it's Andrew's Udyr. Guy's a G. So I'm kind of interested to see how he plays this matchup. He must... There, I mean, there's got to be a reason he picked it, right? It's not like yeah, something that's like, this time. is busted. <laughs> it's not... A, this. And that's the thing about flex service. 
a lot of his picks isn't about this is busted. It's is this better? Yeah. Right. And so I've got a curious to see how this Udyr works out, but I really do like it in, in the fact that he can be in the middle of a team fight and be alive. Yeah, and, and really do a shitload of damage. Yeah, and depending on what he plays, what, what kind of build he does too, he could go uh, like the full crit build, and do goofy damage. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I I can't stand this chat right now, dude. Uh, they're, this. they're going crazy. Oh, we, we're Lord. meeting the stream require or the stream goals right here. True, right now. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, hot tub stream. If we it's meet coming all goal, the way. Honestly, League is really holding up the <laughs> holding up the values right now, boys. I appreciate League you guys. League is not coming. dying. Confirmed. League isn't dying for some reason, and this is this is weird. Bagel's <laughs> not logging in. There we go. This is awkward, and I am scared. <laughs> 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 oh man! But you know, honestly, uh, before we send it to break, you have any final thoughts? Any uh, prayers, know, wishes, really, shoutouts? Really excited to. To see you with this game, I really am. This is gonna be. This yeah, is this, this is this, this is gonna be the most exciting is, game of the season. Yeah, this hopefully. is the game. Knock on wood. I, I would not doubt the last time. Last time we played these guys during a regular season, we had like a 17 minute game. Was it? <laughs> yeah, the fastest loss. It was the fastest the... loss in CCL history. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's all we're known for. We have the fastest loss and the longest, and the longest game. game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have both the shortest game and the fastest we're, we're game. We're out here to make game. records. Oh, yeah. We out here. We're making a name for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Being bad. We can't be the best. God damn, we're going to yeah. be the worst. Honestly, though, I blame the 53-minute game on Jamestown. I'm looking at you. Yeah, they should have FF. FF. Not, F, not FF. <laughs> they just don't want to end the game. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're ending our spectator delay, so we're going to send you guys to a quick break. So you stay tuned for game number one of Mines versus NDSU. Feeling like there's nothing I can do. This could be the end. It's my choice. It's taken me my lifetime just to prove. This could be the day I die. Don't let it be the day. For my mind to run around With my ear up to the ground I'm searching to behold The stories that I told When my back is to the world That was smiling when I turn
Okay, I'm hoping that somebody pray for me. I'm praying that somebody hope for me. I'm staying where nobody supposed to be. I proposed it, being a wreck of emotions. Ready to go whenever you let me know. The road is long, so put the pedal into the flow. The energy on my trail, my energy unavailable. I'ma tell it my still away go. Hey, when I fly on my try to the top, I've been out of shape, taking out the box. I'm an astronaut. I blasted off the planet, rock to cause catastrophe, and it matters more because I had it. Now I had I thought about wreaking havoc on an opposition, kind of shocking. They want a static with precision. I'm automatic. All right, and welcome back. I can't see anything, and I don't think. Oh, there we are. Our game's working. Okay. Press D. Boom. Oh, we got an invade from NDSU here. We're going to go from the bottom bush. Bagels will locate. And didn't walk. ward. Yeah. He didn't He didn't ward the bush. No, which is fine, though. He gets away. And honestly. They're going to counter invade. Mines wins the fight. Pretty sure. yeah, Let's well, go. And Udir warded their blue, which they're going to go over to. And Ezreal is plus five gold right now. You know what? That's a win. That's already a gold gap in the bottom. <laughs> Five gold up. Starting the game off strong. <laughs> and, uh, I, actually, I don't even think that's a rune anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you could do that anymore. I, I don't think. I don't first think strike, I think. Is that, is that not? Is he, he a first, first strike? strike? I don't know. Do you run first strike in Israel? Because I, 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 I think, what, what was it, like clairvoyance or something like that back in the day? Predictions 0-2. Fake news, 4-3. I like these predictions. I really like it when our people show up and force and make some BS happen in the chat. That flex are pretty low there, actually. RIP. And go already lost the wave. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He's actually right. He's actually <laughs> right. Because we never changed the highlights. <laughs> Just realize it is just gonna be a Gavin. It's gonna be a Gavin. That's actually very funny. <laughs> it's gonna be like that for the rest of the stream, by the way. <laughs> I want you to know that. Unless we pick up some highlights of our own. If the button works. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a bad trade for garlic. Oh, oh he's turning kinda... around though. Ooh. Okay. Uh, he went Ooh. a little. He went a little far up there. Yeah, garlic playing with fire. Nice stun there in the mid lane. Mid lane. Again, it's we're looking pretty even right now. Honestly, this looks a lot like kind of what I was thinking we'd see. Kind of even in the other two lanes, and we're waiting for the jungle oh, difference. Oh, garlic could be in a little bit bad. of trouble. Uh, he's got flash. Maybe no, nope, he's gonna get out. Yeah, garlic is out for the time being, at least. Oh, uh, oh, we're gonna have a pause. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to let us unpause. So bring it back to Caster Cam. Oh, oh! wow. Speaking of the devil. Wow. That, that, oh, give it a second. It'll stutter. You can bring it back now. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. Garlic playing with fire here. The level uh, four. He needs to hit level. He needs to level up or he's going to lose. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Flash in. Oh. Oh, he's oh. dead. I well, didn't get it. And it's, oh, it's that's huge. And execute. That's really big for NDSU there. But he burns and, flash. And garlic ball. loses a whole wave for that, too. Yeah. Oh, he's got teleport. Okay. Oh, cool. Sweet. That's awesome. But, yeah, no, Gar that's pretty bad for garlic because he goes down 0-1. But, yeah. you know, uh, fire alpha forced to burn flash early. But, honestly, now garlic just probably wants to freeze here. If he can, yeah, if he he's can, got to. I mean, he, he was winning those trades, but he just got too aggressive and lost it all. Yeah, and Nocturne's actually top lane here, interestingly enough. Yeah, it's a weird choice. Seeing his... Oh, well. And he's got wave advantage, so I don't know if this is... Yeah. Uh, Garlic does have the hop, skip, and a jump. So he could probably get out if necessary. He's staying a very long time. Yeah, this is this is pretty early. It knocked okay, there it spotted. is. I think Udir's going to yep, come there's down. there's the hop. Nice. Uh, I just made more room for him. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a fight. Garlic's going to try to push. 
from the Here's air. Udyr. Yeah, and, and they're going to run away change, right away. Nice stun. The fight Meganar quick. will make an appearance this fight. They to focus. It. Oh, Garlic's. Oh, oh, oh my what gosh. What a stun. This could be bad for That's NSU. Crocodile on the run. And Flexner finds two for the price of one. Good grief. Wait, no, Garlic didn't even die. No, he, he used the Meganar and got some health. The Meganar is saving. And like I was just saying, the Meganar makes an appearance. He's able to farm up the Fury. And he actually stays alive because of it. And yeah. Mines buys two back. Yep, two kills. And that and that's the, that is just all about you know macro play. We've been mentioning it since the beginning of game number two here this last week. Is you know mines macro is on point. Yep. And you know Udir's in the right place at the right time, and it really brings fights south. And, and I do think that was a bit of the stroke of luck. <laughs> I, I really do because he was farming his Gromp or not Gromp, uh, Krugs. Uh, Krugs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, player cams are broken right now. Uh, I'd go sick, so we can't really use player cams if we only have four people. I'm sorry. Shut up, Dubon. I will fight you. Don't ever call my production L production. <laughs> Anyways, that's a great turn of events for top lane. Of course. That's absolutely. Huge. Also, Dubon, L job finding. <laughs> oh, man. That's <laughs> rough. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I have to push back, okay? Coach T doesn't take anything from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like my stream? I will insult your personal life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, dude, no. dude, uh, dude, it's like, who's Andrew? A bad juggler? What is happening, dude? <laughs> this is crazy. But, you know, again, I, we expected a pretty good game. Mine's up a little bit on gold, but not much. And, uh, honestly, pretty, pretty good. Moitman is an L name. Thank you, chat. You are defending the Holy Land. Uh, oh, the I don't know. Flashes out. I I don't, oh. I don't know if that was the he right move the for bagels to. Hmm? We're okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in my chat, bro? Ooh, oh. nice flash goal card. Oh, that was a great flash by Nick or Elusive. Yeah, really good. Yeah, Nick able to react with the. Uh, oh, oh, barely on the very outskirts of that. Uh oh, flexer on the run. Nice. This could clean. be bad. Without true on the way. He's going to drop Ooh, that. Ooh, he's got to get, get that to the blast, blast cone. Nice oh, the Syndra save. Really well done there. Oh, Mines' bot lane's actually on the way up here. They're Ooh, low, though. There, this is not a good fight. Yeah, Dragon will I reset. I think we give this. And I think Mines has made the call to, to get, give and uh, go for Grubs instead. Grubs, yeah. Which I think uh, our jungler prioritizes. I think that's what we discussed, is that he prefers that over early Dragons anyways. Right, and honestly... And, and this could be huge, too. Oh Another God. poppy Flexing kill. Is low, though. I, I think that's... Garlic actually might get the Meganar. Oh, he got yeah. it. Oh, oh, what a hammer! That's not good. That resets the... The grubs. The grubs, yeah. That's terrible for him. Yeah, really well played there from Poppy. And honestly, they, they were trying to make a play on the top side. It doesn't work out. Nope. But, you know... Got the ult, so it's not the end. Ooh, nice E. Nocturne ult. Under Onto tower. Line. Awfully bulky oh. under tower, oh. though. That's a kill. That is a kill. Crocodile Fair, oh pays Oh, my his life. goodness. Oh. Chaos this is This could low. be huge. If Elusive plays this right, this could be really bad. He's got the wave on his side. Gold card is out. Ah, he didn't go for it. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, play it safe. Really well played there from Elusive. But and ultimately, I think that was just an awful play from Crocodile. That was a terrible play. Oh. Oh. oh, that was close. Oh. He got. Oh. True he shot barrage landing, but it's not enough. And the shield doing quite a bit. Wow. A very interesting start, <laughs> nonetheless. If, if you didn't know any better, you'd think this is the Chinese server because with how much <laughs> they're fighting for some reason. But, uh, oh, and look at that. He picked up all three grubs. Uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> He's on top of it. He's really good about yeah. where he needs to be on the map. He pays attention. I, I think he's looking out to see where everybody is. And the fact that Nocturne went bot lane and inted. Under tower, uh, you just gave him Okay, but grubs. that turret did a mass amount of damage. I, uh, I, I, I didn't think it was going to do half as well in one shot. They buffed turrets last season for for that, so yeah, I, I'm not surprised. And he's, it's so early in the game to tower dive, and it wasn't even close. Yeah. Garlic playing a little bit more aggressive now. Ooh, nice stun it's there for a Poppy. little dangerous. That's messed up, coach. I will tell you what to do better. <laughs> 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 hey, you don't play me, I don't play you. That's how this works. This is a oh. nice hook. Uh, 
I mean, I think we lose that trade. He'll he'll lose for the trade for sure, but they keeps he keeps his AD carry out of harm's way for the time being. Honestly, worth though. Man, I think he needs to stay Man. away from those walls. Nice. He hops away before the W is pressed, which is good. <laughs> what are you? On? But, not nah, both these teams playing really well. I think. Yeah. No, mines is off to a good start though. We're losing that gold lead a little bit. Yeah. Flex serve, showing down bot lane. Uh, he won't be seen now. Man, it's crazy. Phoenix stance available for flex serve now. Interesting. Just so much crazy stuff happening. Ooh. Outside. He's going to go oh. in. The hammer's going to land. Udyr's no. coming on his way. Yeah. No, it went nice strong. hook. Keeps him out of the glitch. Oh, no, there. That's good. Lucid I, goes in, but I think he I loses to Chaos think here. He wins. Oh. The death charge might save, oh, but it's no. not in time. And he's able to trade one back, but Elusive finding a kill in the bot lane. Uh, Nocturne ulted. Yeah, Nocturne. Paranoia going to be dropped. Yeah, he just Harley. keeps getting caught on that wall. Oh, oh, yeah. oh but now it's uh -oh. Alpha overstepping. He's going to flash it on Garlic. He finds a kill, that's but he will good. pay with his life. I think that was worth it. Funnel the Udyr. That's great. That's that's uh, We lose. We get a death, but I think more kills on our jungler is more important. Absolutely, and honestly, you know, Fire Alpha doing what he can to walk away with something here. Garlic just staying a little bit more. Edgo just going to be caught out yeah. in the jungle, and Stormstars will find his first kill in the mid lane there. Wow. Just all around the map, and then <laughs> there's a plate onto our jungler as well. Holy. And we're still ahead on gold, at, even after losing two kills. It's kind of crazy. It's just everything is happening at once. Teleport. Oh, we might have a confrontation in mid. Ooh, Storm Stars Ooh. might be looking for something here. Flex Herb is not going to. He's just gonna, trying to get out. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got the CC immunity. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, he's there just going to pop that true shot. Barrage is going to go a little bit wide there. And Braum and Storm Stars are going to opt to back off of there. With True Shot Barrage near, uh, g going through there, they just don't want to take the risk of being collapsed on. And honestly, they they forced off of the, uh, the scuttle, and I think that's well worth it. Garlic now playing a little bit more safe around this poppy. He knows how lethal it can be, and he knows that Flex Serve isn't nearby to help him if necessary. So definitely just needs to play a little bit more careful around Poppy because Poppy's he's, combo just seems to be doing so much damage. And, and he needs to stay away from the walls. He's hung in the wall too mo often. I, Poppy's just waiting Ooh, for him to hit that. Uh -oh. teleported on. First Ultimate, gonna Twisted Fate ult. Yeah, he's going to pop it for vision. Twisted Fate's diving? <laughs> okay, he's not. <laughs> wow, they got two plates already. Wow. That is lethal. Yeah, Bagels is gone. And, and he starts he with a shiv. See, this is another thing that Chaos does is he always starts with a shiv, and I don't know why he does it. A lot of people do. Oh, they're going to go out on Storm Stars here. Oh, Nautilus Hook. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's just going to walk out safe. I don't think there's anything they could have done without Truth going to walk up here. So with Chaos, Elusive running from behind. They could actually look for something here. It's possible. Dragon up. This would be a good fight for Mines to take. Ooh, that's not oh, good. Yeah, he's going to be forced to eat early. Bromolt. Yep. Paranormal. He's going to flash out. It's going to land on Ooh, the Udyr. Here we go. This try is to fight not him. good. Yeah, no, they're way low health. This is a huge oh, fight for bad. NDSU. There's just not much they can do. Nice stun and followed by untapped power. But again, a nice flash stun. Oh, gold card. Man. And now NDSU has begun their march back as they take back over a 2K gold lead here. Yeah, that was huge. That was a really good fight. Mine's just a little bit low on health there. Ooh, that stun going to go a little bit wide. And, yeah, I love the only good thing there is, uh, you know, Elusive makes it out alive. What? <laughs> Why is that banned, though? I'm going to slap his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Automod's like, yes, bad. Ooh, Teleport's coming down. Garlic's going to keep up on Fire Alpha here. I think he would win. Oh, As yeah, I, say, I don't know if that Teleport was, uh, well, maybe. Just auto. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's worth it. They're opting to give Flexer some Oh, oh he's going to walk at him. But he's going to get him. Nice stun. Stormstars is going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, he's Whoa. forced to flash, but the burn isn't the, enough. No, it's not enough. Got a shield from Braum. The shield. Braum's mid lane. I bet he's molding for that one. Yeah. As but insanely But honestly, close. worth it. Push this uh, this Oriana out of lane. Do what you can. But honestly, 
you know, a fight gone south there, and this is looking much better for NDSU all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, but it's still very close. It, 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 if anything, it brought them back from the gold deficit and put them a little ahead like we were. So. Right. It's not ultimately the worst thing that happened. No Come kills on. are actually still pretty close to even, so we're sitting pretty good. <laughs> I question our auto mod sometimes, man. <laughs> oh, God. What is happening, bro? Good ear. I like it. Yeah. I think. I missed know, the cannon. Yeah, so minus here. one. Minus one. If it was NASA's, it'd be minus one. The bot lane one. switched. Interesting. Opting to send Storm Stars back down bot lane. How, how did that stun hit? Ooh, nice dodge there from Mr. Edgo there. Fire Alpha possibly looking to do something here. Garlic playing with fire there, standing next to that wall, personally. Yeah, I thought that was a little questionable, but... But he gets her out of the bush, and now we'll push out top lane here, it looks like. What is happening, man? This game has been all over the place. I don't know. CS pretty even across the board. Bot lane to mid, a little behind. About 20 CS. Pop. Right. Edgo yeah, Nautilus. I think that's the biggest, that's the goal, where the gold lead really is sitting. Yeah, and this mid lane, Storm Stars again proving to be quite the mid laner again this season. Ooh, again. what a nice E that barely stunned. He's nice. just sitting on the walls. Oh. Yeah. And Nocturne coming to finish it? No, no, Nocturne's going bot. Ooh, actually, they're going to flash. Oh. Garlic's just going to go down there. I don't think yeah. there's anything. In. Flexor going to go down to Crocodile. Chaos stuck over the wall, though. Nice stun there. Glacial yeah. Fissure going to be dropped. I don't think that was worth it. A little bit too late there, in my opinion. But again, another. Are well just getting fought caught fight. out in these fights? Yeah, honestly, I've really you've been again just really well played from NDSU, finding the fights that they need to, you know, honestly. But it's still not ultimately too far off. No, it's still really sitting at the same gold lead. We're not. Mine's not too, out of this one yet. Yeah. Mine's not out of this one just yet. Well, like they they are shutting down our jungler. Yeah, and honestly, that's that seemed to be the big problem for UNL is they just couldn't get themselves on to Flexer. And <clears throat> now that yeah, NDSU has found already more than double the kills that Flexer's had on any of his games so far, uh, this is looking a lot better for NDSU. Without truth now, going to clear some vision, find out Flexer's top. That's huge information. Nice command shockwave from until Elusive. Elusive is going to miss everything except for that last Q. And... Uh, a huge uh, lot of damage done onto Yezreel there. What is going to happen now? What does Mines need to do? Like, what's the adjustment here that needs to be made? I think th they're just not playing well. I, I think they're just... I, they keep getting caught out. Uh, I mean, Bagels is, I, I think, more often than not running away rather than engaging. I think I've seen them engage twice and both times he's just losing the trade every single time he goes in so I, I really don't know maybe wait for them to get tankier I, I can agree with that you know mines definitely doesn't have the scaling factor Ooh, they're gonna go in here without missed truth the tower. missed the tower <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional true shot barrage gonna go down the mid lane here get some of these uh, minions out flexor now showing Again, garlic and then he's he's just keeps. I mean, but he, he's, he's returning the favor. He's just trading even for it's that. So close, oh. crocodile now. No W though. Nice hammer. Yeah, ah, he's this, done. He's done for. Unfortunate there, for garlic again being shut down. Bring back down to two four two. He actually. But they knew that they know that Nocturne's up there, so they're prepping for drag. So they're gonna get it quick while Nocturne's still down there. But yeah, he does have his ult up. Without truth is here. Mines actually at full health uh, here. I, I think, think this is a good fight for Mines. No, they're down one. Paranoia Poppy's gonna be dropped. Oh, oh, what a command shockwave! Oh, that's huge. And that is so huge for NDSU. Mines uh, has to back up here. Oh god! What a command shockwave! They dive? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, elusive is just gonna be forced to flash here. And he's gonna get caught. No, yeah. he, he's actually gonna stay under tower here. Poppy's, Poppy's gonna, gonna dive. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. didn't matter. Nice buffer, but Jeez. it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, and again, that old that wow. old from Oriana was insane. Got everybody. Yeah, right. and it caught him straight into the glacial fissure. Yeah, and it, it really was just really good. That was, was nice wombo combo. Now, now sense. we're really hurting though. We're yeah, we're hurting. Mines is down quite a bit of gold now. And we're three drags. Yeah, and yeah, a yeah, soul point for Andy. We're hurting. Mines has got to find something. It, it yeah, just the, the gold lead has extended to from bot lanes fifty gold down. Or sorry, fifty CS down. Jeez, yeah. Again, TF five and zero. Oh my god, this is just a huge yeah. NDSU team. Poppy's got that three hundred gold bounty too. She's been killing at top lane. Nocturnes come back from being zero and two. Right. Now it was super super strong start for Mines, but it just turning on them here in yeah. this later game they're losing these team fights they've they've got to either that maybe the goal is to avoid them and look for picks yeah i'm not quite sure what what the play is here from now on but they do they do gotta work something out here i wonder i, I don't know what the call is I, it's tough because like you said they're down quite a bit it's just uh um, they, they've got to look for picks i i think that's got to be their goal they've got to get some of these shutdowns I think Twisted Fate is number one of their priority list. Yeah, 600 gold, that's a lot. That's a lot of, of money. Yep, and now that they have these uh, objective bounties now, too, getting some of those uh, gold, or getting some gold back there would be huge. Death of Bagel's trying to find any vision, if at all possible. It's just not going to work out there. As uh, already there to clear it is without truth. Poppy just clearing bushes there. Wow. Poppy just so strong. It's surprising to see a tank so strong. I don't know. It's lethal, is, I guess, is the word for it. But they're, they're not on the Baron. Mine's going to work towards the Baron, though. Not going to have to. There we go. <laughs> not going to finish off the ward. Yeah, they're just gonna <laughs> take the five gold and run with it, I guess. As without truth and oh, uh, God, oh, client and chaos are already gonna work towards it. Man, that attack speed is crazy. Yeah, he did this to fate, Marie. Close garlic gonna back off here. Oh, this could be bad. Storm stars knows he's there. Command shockwave is available to him. Nice stun, yeah, but he's gonna flex. give it up. Yeah. True surprises shot. me he could have probably kept on that right they're just they're just trying to uh, give baron for the shutdown they're trying to find something but they're, i'm not sure nobody's on map they don't know where they're at so they don't want to be caught out again in a bad fight oh god it's just not winning those. yeah and, and then here we go the baron's yeah, gonna be taken I here by ndsu wards are up they know they're there they're kind of coming late here comes nice glacial fissure will prevent flexer from getting on the back lane but they stop yeah, inside teleports done. coming down without truth gonna be taken low chaos is finds a kill and right away Wow. And yes, he turns that fight to get the Baron. Chaos just doing so much damage on the TF. Oh, this is bad. And I honestly, think they can just end it through. Oh, Ezreal's still alive, so maybe Elusive not. doing what he can to stay alive. And uh, nah, now they're just going to chase him down. They're going to get so many towers from this. Yeah, I mean, they got the Baron. Elusive's just caught yeah, out. There's done. nothing they could do. Oh, and my Chaos, God. that Nine TF oh. is insane. Wow. I'm just saying, talk about meta abusers, am I right? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, jeez. This is what a twit. Right, that's what I told you. It was going to go one of two ways. It was going to be close. We were going to get stomped. And honestly, and now just we're above a 10K gold lead for... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It this, is this, crazy. This is looking you know? really bad. Yeah, mine's just going to have to find something else here. What's the timer? Hopefully it's... 23 minutes. All right, cool. We're doing Thanks. better than 17. Thank you. Yeah, and, uh, and now this uh, Soul Drake is coming up here in less than 30 seconds. And what is the call for Mines I, uh, other than to give? They don't they, really they have... They don't have a choice. It's Soul. <laughs> they have to give it. Like, they're 10k gold down. I think almost two I three items TF versus our one Ezreal. We, we have one item on Ezreal. Oh, TF has Flexer. three and a half. Bagels is going to hang out here. They're going to try to... I think Bagels is going to go... He's he's thinking about it. Oh there yeah, he goes. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, you think he wasn't a tank? Glacial Fisher gonna be 
dropped uh, early. Ah, Udyr might go down again. I don't oh, know. He's, yeah, he's got he's, the he's, health. Crocodile uh, is in there. Oh, nope. Paranoia pops. He's going to go straight onto Ezreal. Garlic a little Man. bit late. Nice stun, but it's just far too little, far uh, too late. The TF damage is crazy. Oh, this yeah, is huge. Flashing get in, this. And that's, that's a shutdown. That's, that's huge. Good. And yes, who has to go towards the dragon pit now? Yeah, that puts us at 10k gold lead now. Not not above 10k. Yeah. Yeah. Not because. Well, 11 now. But 11. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's sold though. They still get it. Any more than that, and they risk losing the dragon. And um, honestly, mine just doesn't have the ability to contest. So why bother? Just take the soul and walk with it. I but think I think what's gonna happen is is now that they've got that they're just gonna group mid and end the game. I agree. Uh, and maybe they wait for next Baron, but I don't think that's necessary with yeah. just the, how oppressive this TF is. I mean, he's got a 600 gold bounty still. <laughs> 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 that's insane. That is insane. TF is insane. I think that'll be off the board for sure next match. Yeah. I I think mine just needed a good clean hard look at how OP TF was. And honestly, it's just, it's kind of crazy uh, to think about, too, because it didn't even, like, do much in lane. Oh, man, Vagel's got caught out. Nice uh, stun. He's done. Oh, oh yeah. No, that he's, they didn't even go over him. Oh, man. Yeah, Death Charge dropped. Oh, Vagel has a chance here. Mm, I think the Braum is going to get him. Or yeah. the Poppy. True, true Shot Barrage going to go a little bit wide there. And yeah, they're just going to. God, look at how much damage that does. It's yeah, that insane. TF is, is really carrying the team. And the Poppy and the TF. The Poppy's doing a ton as well. Right, and props to Chaos, man. Chaos is one hell of a carry, and he definitely knows how to, how to, how to use the lead. So, And while we're sitting mid trying to stop him, TF is pushing Running down top. top lane. Yeah, and now they're rotating to grab that tower. They'll probably get the inhibitor too, if not both. Yeah, I think mines may look to fight. Oh, Ooh, shockwave. Just doing so much uh, damage. Man, Udyr is just... Oh, nice hook on the Chaos. Oh, and the Braum immediately over there. Oh, Whoa, what a stun from Garlic. It just doesn't matter. It, the gold lead is too, it, the, too massive. It's too massive. Yeah, we just... Even uh, with all those clean ults, it doesn't matter. I think they end here. Yeah, honestly, there's no way that they don't. Uh, you know, mine's finding something in... In the end there, but it's just no, not enough. True Shot Barrage is just going to be eaten TF by that shield. TF is just playing at the speed at this point. Yeah, TF can just auto more times than I can really? think in a second. Yeah. Ooh, Lucid doing some good damage. Oh, that was nice. He right. goes down. Unfortunately, it's far too little. Far, far too, late. too late. Can they save it? It's actually close here. Hold up. But no, they end it. Wow. Yeah, NDSU yeah. with a nice final push there. Picks up game number one. In an absolute stomp fashion. So notice that they countered our jungler. Yeah, they yeah. actually did something about flex serve running wild in the jungle. Yeah, they they he started really strong at that 2-0, and then they just said, okay, this is this is clearly isn't working, and they shifted yeah. to help the jungler, and we lost every single team fight. We did Honestly, though, I expected one. more from Crocodile. I mean, the, the, his team was there helping deal with flex serve. And doing a good job at that. And honestly, his ultimates were just really bad. They were awful. Yeah, they were <laughs> like, really I, I'm bad. sorry, man, but dude, like, especially that gank bot lane where you flash under tower, alt the AD carry, and then you die. Yeah. I, with paranoia, that should almost guarantee you the one shot kill. Yeah. And you die, and you didn't even get the kill. Yeah, that no, that's the kind of stuff that you can't afford to give up. This game, it was actually. Quite disappointing, I think. I, I think we if just I, threw. Absolutely, away. I think mines absolutely just threw away everything. We had we yeah. had the early game, so we were we were up. I think three k, five, four k gold. Yeah, if if mines right now, if I'm mines, I'm very displeased, and I'm looking for a game to stomp. Yeah, this we we gotta lay the we gotta lay the line and show them that we can actually fight. So I mean, after this, I I don't know. It looks horrible. And honestly, a really I, that's not the downplay NDSU at all. They played really no, well they together. Played really well. And I honestly, mean, their ultimates, that Oriana into the Braum ultimate was insane. That shockwave was so good. Yeah, was I, I agree with that. It's so good. But, you know, mine's just not playing to their advantages. And no. honestly, Team fights were terrible. That's, oh, that's, they looked so bad. It was, that was where we were struggling. It, it's, it seems that – it really seems that way, honestly – uh, it just seemed like that first fight, we were walking into a team fight less than half health, well, which is already not good. And, and one of the, I think, issues, we were constantly f 4v5, I, I think, 
I mean, really, there was two really big problems I saw. One, Garlic was constantly losing top lane. Right. Like, he, he was getting pushed into the wall by Poppy and just killed right before very important team fights. And then Poppy would teleport down and just win them that fight. I mean, they're already down gold, and now they're down a player. Yeah. And I think that was huge. I, I agree. I think it's just all around uh, just trolling from mines and really well played from NDSU. And they took advantage of every little flaw that happened. And I'm actually surprised. I, I, think, I don't think our bot lane did that bad. No, I, I, I really don't. I think Elusive played very well on the uh, Ezreal. In I fact, he, he, that's why I was kind of surprised that TF was so strong. Yeah. Because, I mean, it, it's just it must have been the roaming from TF, finding kills. Yeah. And... They got. They did their job getting them fed. And so. that Brom pick, I think our team struggles into as well. But I, I also think that Bagels, uh, I really mean this best way possible, was kind of useless. I agree. I, I could didn't see, see a single hook that wasn't running away, like trying to hit a wall. Like, I, and I don't know why, but he was really squishy, really yeah. squishy. And honestly, Nautilus is one of the a more tankier characters. Right, and that's what I was confused. He was just getting bursted to death, and I, I was. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know either, but I think we're gonna have to wait till game two. So I'm gonna send it to a quick break, before then. So. We're going to go to a small break here and get everything figured out on our end and get ready for game number two as uh, as NDSU goes up 1-0 against Mines. Yep. We'll see you there.
And get high up I know that I'ma die Reaching for a life that I don't really need at all Never listen to replies Learn the lesson from the wise You should never take advice from a nigga that ain't tried They said I wouldn't make it out alive They told me I would never see the rise That's why I gotta kill them every time Gotta watch them bleed too Don't ever say it's over Been a nigga since I came out my mama. Thinking God that he never wore a condom. Prove him wrong every time till it's normal. Why worship legends when you know that you can join it? If these niggas don't like me, they don't like me. Likely they wanna fight me. Come on, try it out. Try me, they put me down, but I never cried out. Why me? We're from the wise. Don't put worth inside a nigga that ain't tried. To the moonlight and I'm speeding I'm made it to the stars Ready to go far I'm start walking Back to game number two of Mines versus NDSU. Mines or NDSU up 1 0 in the series so far. And honestly, quite a stomp from NDSU. Yeah, no, like I said, I figured that was it was gonna go one or two ways. And, and yeah, it went the worst way. It went the worst way, unfortunately. But I, I like it. I, I, I where Mines is on the blue side now. 
Uh, I think it'll go a little bit better in draft, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. Because the mine strategy on blue side is way better than the mine's red side strategy. So I'm... Uh, well, we're, we're going to have to go back to red side if we win this, so... Oh, true. <laughs> true. Oh, God. I don't want to think about it. Unless they pick red side. I guess I guess they could. I don't think we've ever played a team that did. Crumbs. I should eat that. That's horrible. <laughs> God, what are they typing, man? Get get draft started. I want to see draft. Not lame League of Legends chat and banter. Uh, skull emoji, bro. Dude, I got a 9 a.m. tomorrow. I don't have time to be reading these kids. Is <laughs> a 9 a.m. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm really cool. Yeah. Yeah, electromagnetics. Ah, there you go. Special. Oh, very. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. What a riveting conversation. We're, we're bamming. Having. We're bombing that class. You're bombing that class? Right now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh. we. We got to pay attention more. But I can't because we think about games like this. <laughs> that is the, probably the worst game you could think of. No. <laughs> Repeatedly. When uh, I think of Escape from Tarkov, I get sad. Oh, I get even more sad. Yeah, don't remind me. I don't know why I ever bothered to buy that game. <laughs> yeah, the best thing I ever heard was uh, uh, League of Legends is for people that like to be sad, and Escape from Tarkovs are for uh, or Escape from Tarkov is for masochists. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I just spent two hundred grand on this kit to just to lose just it in lose five it minutes. In <laughs> one, I, 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 I My lab's raid was. Uh, I, go ahead. I walked in the wrong spot. And I'm dead? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean there's four hackers in my lab's raid? <laughs> Dude, that was insane. Some of those hackers are funny as hell. Dude, there, you, there used to be like a hacker strat back when I first started where somebody would just bring a Mosin and you were able to shoot through like every level of labs. <laughs> and so like you could just walk below like three levels down and just kill somebody from all the way in the basement. <laughs> and they would bring nothing but a Mosin and just a rig. they just walk and run around shooting people through walls. It's cringe. Hacker <laughs> and th I don't know if you've seen anything about the new hack. It's no. called a vacuum hack. Oh, where they like take things out of the, the like where they're put, so the chests and whatnot. They take them out into into the no. inventory. So like, there's no. a new hack. There's a new hack where they can ask for a specific item, and the hack will just like actively like drag every bit of it into like into their right. location. Yeah. Okay. And so you can actively see items flying through the air. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't know that. And <laughs> all right, all right, we're going, we're going. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, we're going. <laughs> Mines bans away the Rengar, Rengar first. And then there's the Kindred. And NDSU hovering the Kindred. Again, a, a lethal pick for Flex Serve throughout the last uh, couple didn't of games. did they leave Graves open? Huh? Isn't that his one trick pony, his Graves? No, they banned Graves last game. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. It was the second ban. They first banned Kindred, they second banned. Graves, and then they third banned York. Okay, so we'll probably see Which it again. Which makes sense. Yeah, we'll probably see it again. But the Azir ban? See, no, no. I would hold on to that Azir pick because if they ban away the Graves, they're forced to pick between the solo queue Yorick and the Azir because mine will first pick the Azir. Yep. So, so. so I don't think mine's bans away Azir here. I would get that onto Cavdog, and they're going to ban away the TF. A fantastic ban. <laughs> Yeah, and now this gives NDSU a conundrum. Do they ban away the Yorick, Yorick gonna be Yorick. or the Azir? It's gonna be Yorick. And they're yeah. going to ban away the uh, Yorick. And it's like 100 games on Yorick. <laughs> and surely Mines picks up the Azir. Yeah, first there pick. it is. Yeah. I think that's a really good pick. I'd go as a lot of hours on it. Oriana, though, does he just go straight back to that? Because that's a really good pick for him. Karma. Karma. Okay, so so they didn't ban his champions. So but they're going to we'll pick up the, We'll see the Morgana, probably. And honestly, to be honest, I'm... I prefer that. I think Simippi's Morgana is far superior. By the way, we should have mentioned that Simippi got something. Oh, in. right. Yeah, Simippi's playing now. Yeah, Simippi's in. Nocturne again. Honestly, Simippi's Morgana far better than his Karma. Although he has improved greatly on Karma in the last few days, I, I would pick up bot lane here. Yeah, Morgana instantly. Just grab it now. Yes, because if they ban that, Simippi's going to be hurting, I think. They are banning. Yeah, dude, they're scared. They're scared of the kindred. Yeah, let the kindred through. They're oh. scared of the kindred because Mr. Um, Player V3 there is OP on it. 
Morgana, yep, there it is. A fantastic pickup. Gets some iffy on something he's a little bit more familiar with. Norway doesn't save unicorns. Is that what NDSU yeah, stands yeah, you, for? You got them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Show, you showed yep. them. You showed them. Good job, Pink Funny Bunny TTV. Good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Welcome Support, to the fan support, squad. Supporting your your school Jinx. team. Jinx. Morgana Jinx. Interesting. Not oh, hopping into the Morgana one. Caitlin. But instead the Morgana I Jinx. I don't think Caitlin's that good right now. Caitlin's kind of awful. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't think I, I played Caitlin the other day. <laughs> yeah, I did too. It was terrible. And it was terrible. Yeah. It was, like, unplayable. I don't see the lethality MF, and I'm completely disappointed. I, my day's ruined. I think Jinx is really good, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a hard to carry to pass up if you can pick it up. Lucian. Yeah, because that infinite scaling, get excited passive is just insane. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And so it looks like they might be playing towards bot lane this time. Our, our team? Yeah. No. Uh, they get they put Nick on an eighty carry that's not very like I, slippery. I, th I think it's more of a if you do good, amazing. If you don't, oh, oh well. well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, yep. Zin Zhao banned away, or as I like to call him, the goddamn fuggery. <laughs> Ah, uh, old Kiori. I miss you, Kiori. Come back to me. The guy stopped playing League and picked up, like, Roblox. Oh, God. You're telling me that's better? <laughs> that hurts me, bro. Not a lot of jokes there, not for uh, a college stream. True. <laughs> Man, and he was one of my favorite YouTubers back in the day. That's what I grew up watching was Kiori. Nami. Fish with feet. They banned away the Nami. That's a weird ban, especially since it's probably Karma support. Well, I mean, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's a actually weird. A one the ban. Karma Lucian, <laughs> sus. I think it's I Kevin. I mean, Nami it's Lucian, I think is supposed to be really strong. It's though, gotta so. be Kevin banning. Kevin draft. <laughs> Kevin draft lol. Wait, draft lol. They, they used. Uh, they finally used the Jet GPT for their draft. Okay, so. Allow he's still up? That could be a bait. Why, That's a Darius, why Darius? It could be a bait. That's kinda, they yeah. might be trying to get him. They to might grab be trying Allowee. to bait out the Allowi pick. I think it's going to be jungler last. Well, what counters no, Allowi no, really no, hard? Have to grab jungler That's my question. Uh, Vayne, Vayne, probably. I don't know. Vayne? I mean, Vayne I is still on the I mean, Vayne's okay. I, I don't know if that's. I don't know what counters <clears throat> allow. I really don't. Gangplank. So now, <laughs> who did they give pick to? Ew. Melio. So it's Karma mid. It's, it's messy. It's messy. <laughs> Goal. Oh, that was probably really loud. I'm sorry, guys, for you watching at home. But I had to. <laughs> it's messy. Lionel Messi. He's on the Miami whatever the hell they're called. Oh, yeah, I know. That's so weird. <laughs> it is he weird. had to get a big fat paycheck for that one. Oh yeah, that or that or massive. they do like uh, they do in pro league where they just send the the washed up people to NA. God, that's even not washed They're up like yet. Ronaldo's still playing. He's not, or <laughs> it's not washed up. I like that pick. I don't. You don't? No. I think Oren's a really solid pick. He's one of those champions that really can't be in meta but can't be out of meta. It's it's such a weird. It's a very weird champion. But I think it's it's hit or miss. I think I think he. He's I don't think it's. I don't think it's hit or miss. I think it's always just mid. Master Yi. I think Master Yi. Holy shit, bro! What? A champion never picked in pro play, picked in CCL. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin's gotta be cooking. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, I cannot see this. Mordekaiser. Okay, I that's a good. That's a good matchup top lane. Okay, I, I think. I think Garlic would could easily win this. And he could easily also throw this and make Mordekaiser a raid boss, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is gonna be this is a good, a good pick from both teams. I think. I, I think it's honestly. I think our team's got a little bit more of an edge because of the tankiness we have. Mordekaiser falls off late game. He just gets really crazy. Yeah, honestly, I don't see any standout characters really. I think Karma's gonna be really annoying with her shields, so they'll have to build that uh, what item that counter shields. But otherwise, I, I think we're actually sitting better than we were the first draft. I agree with that, actually. I'm not a big fan of Lucian Melio. Bot lane. His healing I, is crazy, though. It's insane, yeah. But also, you know, the Nocturne didn't look that great. 
No, it looked terrible. And it, honestly, I'm not but, sure why they would opt to put him back on it. But notice that during that team fight where Oriana got all of them, he Nocturne ulted. He popped the and they and they hit all three of those ults. Well, a hit, but Nocturne. Yeah, it made them blind so they couldn't see anything that was coming. So I think maybe his Nocturne is terrible, but they're looking more for the just the CC or the utility I, of his ult. Yeah, and I'm excited about the Mordecai's Orin matchup. Uh, definitely a little bit more of a slap fest going to be happening. Yeah, top that's, that's going to take a little bit longer than Poppy Gnar. Yeah, we probably won't see anything too crazy right out of the gate. Uh, but based on his play style, I think um, uh, their top laner will actually come out as hard as he can. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to play Mordekaiser. You're, you're looking for the mid game. That's where you're supposed to be strong. You fall off really hard late game. So if Mordekaiser can't get that early lead, he's just a tank. Right, yeah. I agree. So, But I don't, I don't know. Karma into Zir, though, is kind of where I'm sitting, too. Karma is really fast. She's got really a lot annoying. of lockdown, and her shields are super annoying. So I, I think it's a utility pick. I think they're really kind of going to try to funnel Lucian here. That's my... Right. Lucian or Nocturne, but honestly, the way Nocturne played last game, I don't think he's yeah. going to do anything. Honestly, though, and if anybody's going to do it, I, I put it my faith in Chaos Theory. I mean, you showed that he can do it on the... Yeah, uh, Twisted Fate last the game. TF. Jesus. Like, Absolutely fantastic showing on the TF. Uh, so I definitely would put my faith in uh, Mr. Uh, Chaos Theory here. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I agree. I, I Just try to protect the president, Mr. Lucian, and yeah. see how far you get. Yeah. It's just hope the Mordekaiser gets fed early game and maybe Mordeca If Mordekaiser becomes a raid boss, that's a problem. Yeah, he'll, he'll carry the Lucian into late game, and I think we'll lose. And then it's over. Yeah. But so I think ours, for our side, I think the Yi is going to be... The, I mean, we have so many carry, possible potential carries on our team. We got Yi, Azir, and Jinx. Damage threats. Huge. Huge amount of damage threats that NDSU has to wade through and figure out what's one's the most important one. Yep. Um, I do... Believe it or not, I think Master Yi actually counters Nocturne. Because his Alpha Strike counters so many abilities of Nocturnes. Um, he can actually I think his Fear still good works in his Q. Huh? I think his Fear still goes. If he's an Alpha Strike now, it removes the CC. Still, because uh, he has to be present when the Fear goes off. You're right, but it, I think it still lasts. So if he, if he went early and then his Fear still applied, yep. it, I think he would still be feared when Wait, he went. Master, you can also Alpha Strike Paranoia. And how that works, actually, it's very interesting. So Yi's Q actually has a uh, part of it that not many people know. So Yi will land next to the last or the first target that Alpha Strike hits. Mm -hmm. So if he Alpha Strikes par uh, while he's Paranoia, Paranoia will miss and Alpha Strike will place Yi right next to him. Hmm. In fact, it's such a weird interaction just to think about because, you know, if, if, if he Paranoia's Yi and Yi Alpha Strikes the Paranoia, Nocturne will land but not get the burst damage. Right. So I, I don't, it, it's kind of one of those like, how does that work? But ultimately, I think Yi's a pretty nice pick. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. It, I, it'll it's give a, him opportunity to uh, carry the game. I think that Udyr pick was not was not strong enough for him to show that his, his difference in the jungle. I agree with that. I think Udyr is not in a good spot right now. I think... I don't think it was it's bad. It just relies on. too much on teammates. Right. And with and a team like Mines, we can't be around that. everywhere else. Especially so. Kevin Midlane. <laughs> Poor Kevin. I think <laughs> he did okay that game, too. He did okay. He did all right. <laughs> but fans are here for some good League of Legends. Y'all just making words up like they did. We're here for the chat. <laughs> so true. We enjoy having you guys in the chat. Good job, guys. Thank you for showing up. But any last thoughts before we send it to a quick break while we get rid of our spectator delay? I'm hoping uh, my excitement for this game doesn't turn out like last. Me too. That's, that's Me too. where I'm sitting. <laughs> Me too. So with that, make sure you guys stay tuned for game number two as NDSU is up 1-0 against Mines. See you there.
right, welcome back to game number two. And nothing too crazy, just a standard five point from both no, sides. No invade this time. Jinx a little late out of base, so an invade would have been like really super good. bad. <laughs> yeah, it would have been really good for them. Dad bad for us. But Morgana covered that too. That she warded over there in the tri bush. Yeah. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Jivo has just explained to me that he broke it. Copy. Yeah, no. He said that uh, he was messing with something. And so there's a source that we need to change around in the BRB scene. So in theory, well, we won't actually have... Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't speak too soon. Uh, as we start our game up here, Flexer starting on the red buff as Nocturne starts on his chickens. He hit that. I'm surprised. And just, uh, again, a little bit. Oh, my. Dude, they're like the. You know, I never would have noticed, but Orin and Mordekaiser's, like, auto attack sound is pretty identical. Similar. Yeah, they're pretty similar. What the heck? Riot client. <laughs> Re reduce, reuse, recycle, or something. Ooh, I don't know if this is good for Mordekaiser. I think he loses it. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, he's in the wave. I, I'm not quite sure what was up with that, but hey. That's good for us. Ooh, yeah. okay. Nick's probably going to want to change that. Morgana's shoving the wave. I don't think that's intentional. I also don't think so. Let me go in. Oh, Ooh, this is not good. Oh, uh, he didn't start Q first. He is I out. Realized that. Yeah, he made it out. Wow. I, Morgana starting W first is, is super weird. Weird. Nah, yeah, Elusive just in a really bad position here. To be so fair, maybe, maybe the W's are intentional. Maybe Nick is telling him to put the W right in the wave because they're shoving so hard. Yeah, to be honest, though, he did start Zap, too, so this is just overall a weird setup. Yeah, he was only in a fish, uh, fish bones recently. That's really weird. This and is Nick so weird. actually only down to TS, so it's not, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty solid. Oh, I can see how annoying this can be. I, I don't know. Karma's one of those champions that I really hate to lane against. You, she's really annoying. Oh, oh, gonna man, walk just him. getting bullied. Nice rut, though. Nice yeah. rut. May say hitting a nice kick. I don't think it was a goal for Spain, though. Oh, oh yeah, my God. Is. Yeah. Nick's just playing with fire. Yeah. And uh, first blood guy. That, that was really good from Lucian, though. I, that was just clean. So, yeah, knowing when to flash, flashing early, and... He honestly, he got the flash and the, the ghost from Jinx, so he already knew that there was just no chance he gets away, and he gets the first blood. So that's uh, some free gold over to NDSU, a very different game so far. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a nice early lead here for NDSU. Orn actually leading pretty hard on the CS, so it's good, I mean, for early game at least. Almost 10 up. Wow. Yeah, Karma up CS too. That's kind of crazy. Because his ear's been just I think constantly shoved in the car. has got quite a bit of range on his ear. Yeah. Her, her, uh, like, uh, I can't think of what it's called. Her area of effect one. The Q? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Why is why is that bad? I don't mind going crazy. You crazy is <laughs> reason bullying. <laughs> <laughs> this is League of Legends. Come on. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to play for late game. I think that's... We're, we're very late waiting game. for Yi and Jinx. Yeah, a very late game oriented team for sure. So, ultimately not the worst idea. Which is good because, I mean, they lose two players late game. Nocturne and Mordecai's will fall off late. So, yeah, player face cams are broken. I'm sorry, Mr. Pink Funny Monkey. I thought I, 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 I told him that earlier, but the truth. They broke him for now. Now that I can understand. Oh. Why that, ooh, nice. That's garlic. good trade there for garlic. Yeah. Obliterate landing now. Doing really well. What? Stop trying to beat the automad. <laughs> oh, he beat it. He beat the automod finally. Ban him. He did that. <laughs> Ban him. <laughs> he beat the automod, but at what cost? <laughs> yeah, obliterate gone a little bit wider. Gar garlic doing way better this game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's doing really good. I, I, I just, I, you know. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, oh. No, oh, oh, oh the shield. shield. 
Fire Alpha, you dog, pop in the W and gets that free shield. It keeps him alive. And really well done there. Man, it's, it's almost like they can't hear me. But, I mean, it'll take three minutes for them to hear me. So, eventually, they'll understand that they're broken. <laughs> right? Ooh, Shurima Shuffle available for Mr. Edgo. But, as I know, he misses a lot of those. Early dragon. He's on the Krugs, gr uh, Grubs. Grubs, Grubs, yep. He, he likes doing that. I think every game we've seen him play, he gives up first two dragons for, yep. for the Grubs. Which is fine. I, I don't think it's bad. I agree. I don't. I don't think it's bad at all. I think maybe the Infernal Drake might have been a crummy one to give, but yeah, you would like to see that Infernal go onto your Jinx, but yeah, or, or a DE. Nice Q there from Smippy. Just doesn't catches out or doesn't catches out chaos. Yeah, sure. Uh, I definitely know how to English. Well, we are engineers at this school. Okay, Macy. Let's see the ultimate play. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, back into the swing of things here. Garlic holding the wave back, obliterate, just doing what he can from afar. Um, the wave will be slow pushing, I think. Towards Surely we don't face check that bush. <laughs> Surely you see somebody on vision and say, hmm, hmm, perhaps we should not face check that. Ooh. Oh, oh Shurima Shuffle is. under the tower! Four inflections out! Oh. What paranoia there? Can we're, he do the damage? We're not going to get to see that fight. <laughs> yeah, but it, it seems that his ear is out, though. Yeah, that was a good Shurima Shuffle. Really though. good shuffle, shuffle there. Garlic? Yeah, going missed the, missed the, so he missed his own pillar. RIP. That sucks. Yeah, that does kind of suck. But hey, whatever. It's Garlic. Nice, nice. W. Yeah, that was really good. A avoids the pull. Garlic being, garlic being a cutie topping. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. The only thing is, is once you know Azir kind of blows the the Shurima shuffle, uh, he doesn't have very much he can do. Ooh, post this is that. dangerous. They're looking for yeah. a dive. Yeah. he doesn't have the chains of corruption, Ooh, they're gonna just go in. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what they expected there. Nice oh, W. Oh, oh, the ult or an ult. Oh, oh, there it is. Real call the forge guy's gonna come down. Oh, he hit it. He waits. Yep. Nice. Yep. Come on. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Holy what a kill! Ah, that was so close. So close. But Ordu. Oh, it. here comes Flexer. He He's gonna have to flash for that one. I yeah. think. Yeah. Highlander gonna come out. Nice no, Alpha Strike. Storm Stars. Gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Heal's gonna pop out. He I thought I saw it disappear. I thought I, yeah. Okay. That's a little weird. Trigger I go here. Does he happen? No, Emperor's Divide not available. He's going to get slows there. Crocodile. They're going to continue to go after this, man. Oh, I don't know if he's going to get it. You know, he forces out the flash. It's really good. Nice. Run. He forces all oh, flashes away from okay. that. Oh, Jinx ult. Oh! <laughs> Super Mega Death Rocket going a little bit wide. That was close. Mine's making something of it, though. Trying to make something work here. And honestly, really good calls all around. Just trying. Yeah, I think uh, really the only thing that needs to change, probably needs to play a little safer and just keep yeah, on farming. We're playing pretty good all across the board. Lucian cannot be 2-0 right now. Yeah, That's just he's, he's getting fed and his CS is starting to climb. But at the very least, we're learning and we're sitting under tower. Yeah, I mean... Play safer. You're not going to win. And, I, I mean, it's uh, messy, so ooh, he's done. Yeah. Both of them. Culling is just going to land. Do he's so gonna, much. He's going to. No? No. I'm he's surprised. I, yeah, he's going back. <laughs> yeah. No, I, don't know what, I don't know what Samippy was thinking He needed there. to leave there. No, nah, Samippy definitely heads to the back of tower. He doesn't try to do anything. He can't do anything there, but now Lucian is 4-0. That yeah, is just a is dangerous Lucian. really bad. Yeah. Luckily, though, Yi can one-shot. And he carries like in. Yeah, but he's he's got to get fed too. So right. we, we need to see funnel a funnel E for that to happen. Because Lucian can burst E just as much as E can burst him. Oh, Doctor this sucks. bot lane. Jinx is just gonna be dead. Black shielded, but not enough. God. Yeah, well done there from this end. Yeah, they're just bullying Nick out of the game. Yeah, he can't play. Zero and four. And Nocturne's now got one kill. And, and, and Morgana, is still here. why is she there? She he needs to be under nice the other tower. He's still gonna go for it, I think. 
Yeah, we'll, I we'll mean, miss that. I think he would. Smippy otherwise. needs to just leave. Yeah, he needs to not be going into that tower. I'm not quite sure why he was walking forward there. Oh, this is really good. They're gonna try. E kill right here for sure. They're popping the Highlander. Garlic just needs to sit. Yep. Oh, Ooh, really good eat there from without truth. That's all the plates on him. Jeez. Shrina shot. Yeah, the root's gonna do stuff, but it's just not. It's not gonna prevent that damage from coming through. Man. It's just it's it's a it's a it's a bot diff. It just seems that way at least. Yeah, I, I mean Nick is is definitely getting bullied out though. I mean Nocturne was waiting for him. I mean look at the ward, warding. So maybe he needs to clear those wards and he needs to buy. I mean maybe sell his health pots because he's not using them. Yeah. See what is happening he's, here? What's he needs to use those health pots if he's got them. Oh, that was Ooh. a good root. Fantastic root, but. Uh, but yeah, no, he needs he needs to clear those wards because they've got vision so well down there. And and with Lucian ahead, like I said, now they're just going to funnel him. Now it's, 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 oh, this could be bad for them, actually. Yeah, the vault's really low. Yeah, Super Mega Death Rock is going to be up here shortly, too. So, so Mippy needs to hit a root here. Chains of Corruption uh, is available. They're not going to go for it, really. They're so low. Yeah. Chains of Corruption available. They have the tools. They just need something. So, so Mippy needs to land a root right here. This, this is it. It needs to happen. And then the Jinx E comes right. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, no. It's again. a Lucian E. I mean. Nah. I would have waited personally. Yeah. For the root. He needs to wait for the Morgana root. Morgana. So Mippy needs to step up here. Yeah. If so Mippy would have rooted there and walked forward with the Chains uh, of Corruption, it would have just been so good. Garlic doing... Pretty well top lane, you know, he's keeping it, I mean, pretty even. even. Yeah. Right. So, doing a good job. As always, he's, like we said, he's pretty consistent. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Flexer headed towards the mid lane. He's going to be does, spotted, though. Does some have a support on him? Yes. Wow. Garlic is just going to walk. Yeah, he's doing good. He's playing it how he should. He's waiting for that to expire. Yep. He can. We can't watch Master E 24-7. <laughs> He's got a it farm. It would be a very entertaining game. <laughs> True. Yep. Orin just going to do what Orin does and hang on to waves and just wait for more Decaders to show himself. I mean, there's not much more to say that. Second Dragon's going to be picked up for NDSU here. Yeah, for sure. With bot lane losing the it's way they are, they're so just going to have to give. Yeah. He's going to have to play top and mid. I'm not a big fan of the Chemtech Soul personally. Oh, that's nice. Jeez, that damage proc. is insane. I think he's going to E here on the wall. Oh, this is... Actually, I, don't I don't think, think favorable. I don't think it's favorable for... Calls him forward, guys. He's going to go wide. Oh, nice flash. hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. what a play <laughs> I, I didn't think it was favorable for Mordekaiser there. I, mean, I don't he know. He trapped himself in his own... His, for to his own death. Yeah, gar uh, garlic saying, "I'm not trapped in here with you. You're, You're trapped, trapped in here with me." me. Yep. Ooh, Ooh, this is not out. good. Oh, the oh. nice. He's those playing are nice. It, oh, he played Ooh. it well, but it, it was it was a good try. He was low on mana, low on health. I, a for effort. Yep. First tower gonna be taken in the bot lane there. Again, chaos just so strong right now. Yeah, and Lucian is just gonna snowball that. Yeah, and it's just uh, again one of those dangerous characters to have that much gold on. Is that Lucian? And, and they're headed towards the not have any Oracle's lens. This is dangerous. I, d I don't know if I agree with this pu uh, push here. They they're already located, and if they try to tower dive Aziri, he's got the shuffle available. And so I don't agree with that necessarily. They might just be trying to set up for Rift. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. It was kind of insane. I don't know if they saw him because he alpha struck right when the the thing came over him. Oh, he's gonna be looking. Uh oh. I, why? Oh, that's oh, not good. That's rough. Ooh. Flash the way. Do they dive? Oh, oh my man. God! That damage. That karma damage. Bro, what was that? that? Not good. This is looking really not good. Yeah, yeah. just under a 4K uh, gold lead, and they're gonna get the herald here. And that new herald is just so strong. They're just gonna take it mid lane. It seems. I mean, garlic's about the only one positive right now. Ease down CS. And kill, and a kill. Yeah. And objectives. We're not, this is, oh okay. man, they're going to get this tower. We, they got grubs? That's insane that Karma did that much damage at, oh, uh, zero, zero, zero. That's crazy. Bro. Oh, when did, when did they get grubs? I thought we got grubs. 
Uh, it's, it's, that's, a, that's like a herald thing. Nice okay. shroom of That was good. Stormstar is going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Edgar the goes shields. Through. There they are. The yep. shields are. Oh, but oh, the, rocket. the rocket. Really well that placed there. That was a really good rocket. However, Nick is going to be caught out here. He's just got no room to work Ooh, with. Who is this? Good? Yeah, he's just going to no, walk at him. But I think he dies to that. Oh, holy crap. He lives. Huh? That's a little bit suspicious. I don't know how so to not, not that. Not that was That was a decent trade. Yeah, we finally got a kill onto the Jinx, and that and that'll the be e. lovely. And the E got a kill, so we're, that's that's really good. I don't know if I agree with the Cycle Sword start from Lucian. That's kind of a little bit of a weird start. Honestly, he's 4-0. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he can but build whatever he wants. Oh, he barely missed that pillar. Apparently, going to be oh, dropping. He's going on the Yee. He does have the Alpha Strike available if he needs to. Nice W will buy time. Oh, Watch the it. Morgana Shield. Oh. Oh. The Alpha Strike doesn't go off in time. Morgana needs Crocodile. to keep up. Oh. oh, he pays with his life. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, Garlic in the top lane. This is this not is looking good for Garlic. Oh, we missed that. That's not good. I go so now he backs here. Off. Oh. Why he's is he? looking for that Lucian, but he's going to get killed by him. I yeah. don't know why. What he was thinking there. Yeah, Lucian gave really him another bad. kill. Oh, uh, there's Jinx uh, There's no way Jinx wins this. Yeah. Oh, Ouch. Geez. That's just rough. Oh, hurting. Yeah, that is rough for Mines. Again, just it seems like an overall stomp from NDSU. Yeah, like. I'm not sure if we're coming back from this. Nah, it's tough. It, it's uh, all just. It's six K gold lead. Six. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's rough. At 17 minutes. Yeah, and the only winning lanes right now are top and jungle. And and Orin is not jungle. a carry. He's he is not. He is a good champion for lane. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 you're not getting that, that minion. That's rough. <laughs> oh, he's oh, coming. Azir. He's coming. Oh, but you. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's good. That's good. That's what we need. We need Yi to get Fair. way more kills than he's got. Uh oh, Lucian's coming up though. Yeah, but they should be out Nocturnes. of time. Nocturnes. I think they might tower dive. They they got the the divide though. Available. They're tower diving. Oh. oh, flexor. Oh, he didn't go. Oh, uh, he's still oh, gonna get it. Block. Oh, wow. Wow. Jeez. That's a huge pickup. Keeping them shut down. But uh, we're getting mid turret, but they're they're gonna run down. Yeah, they're gonna get both of them and the dragon. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure that that's worth. You get excited? Could get him out. It does. Morgana flash is not worth uh, it. Not at all. But I think Jinx is still gonna get caught. Yeah, Jinx is just gonna have to play with fire here. Oh, nice <laughs> the yeah. Chemtech. Oh. Oh, oh wow, that's toxic. That is toxic. That's toxic. Nah, and that's not good. Because I, I hate to say this, but doing that, especially to Rat, of all people, not a good thing. Because if Rat holds a vendetta against you, that's not a good thing. Just go out of that tower. <laughs> oh, he's just spawning the little... The grubbies? Yeah. Now, Mines has got a pretty good macro setup here. Yeah, I don't but I don't enough. know if it'll be enough. It's not enough. We're down towers. Yeah, and a lot of objectives as and they're NDSU on Soul will Point. start on Soul Point here. Again, just that 19 Eight and minutes. 0 and 5 and 0. The Nocturne all of a sudden turning around from his terrible gameplay in the previous game. Yeah, honestly, it just seems like he's finding the kills that he needs. But ultimate, jeez. Christ, what is happening? I don't know what's going on here. Mordekaiser is going to try to hold the wave out. Oh, this is not a wise is... idea. It's going to be a nice Ooh. shuffle, though. With Yi here, huge damage onto... Oh, what? Chaos could go down. He does. This is really bad. That? Without Truth, he's going to be forced to flash in. I nice think... kill from onto the back line from Echo. That's really with good the, for Oh, Yi. but the Alpha, it's not enough. That, it doesn't matter. That's 700 gold onto Yi. That is a huge that amount of gold. That was the dumbest play I've ever seen. Why the heck would you go into a Yi Azir? That's a squishy... ADC. It is a shame that Azir goes down that early, but it didn't matter. No. no a really good shuffle by plenty funneling the e. of space. Yep. Yeah. And honestly, wow. Finding that shutdown onto Lucian is what they needed right now. Is it enough? I don't think so. We're still we're six it's six still K gold devastating still. right now. So Baron. I think they're gonna group and go for that so that might be our first real team fight right mines does have potential here i think mines could win the fight they just gotta play it right and sadly that's yeah <laughs> you have yet to see it 
Oh my god. Ben's what? jinx. Ben's jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nick. Poor Nick. He's yeah, been exactly. getting bullied. Man. Uh, Guy literally the outplayed In G. the game and out of the game. Right, you gotta leave, my, leave my boy Nick evil. alone. Oh my god, it doesn't do anything though. Oh, it's garlic's it's just gonna walk at him. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, this is so bad for Flash the car. out, too. Oh, oh, nice root. I don't think it it'll buy enough space. It doesn't matter. This that's is huge. really good. That he is, is coming good. back into the game. Yeah, and now with down Karma, that's a that's a huge damage threat off the board. He is down ult for this fight, though. Uh, yeah, but Ye Ye's Highlander doesn't for do much for him anyway. For it gives him tons of movement speed towards that Lucian. Right. Oh, oh they're going to oh, go under Ye. This is real bad. One yeah, shot. That's it. They're they're gonna gonna get oh, the Messed up the flash. Yeah, uh, Baron, I get think shot. that's game. Yeah, no, there's nothing they could do oh, here. Yeah, Zero wasn't there. They can't too. fight for it. Yeah, Lucian's chaos. just gonna get him. Yeah, chaos is just too bad. Yeah, it's quad. They could kill. probably just one end. They don't, I don't even think they need the Baron. Forty second respawn timer for garlic. Ouch. Oh my god. Okay, well maybe his ears got the of. got enough. <laughs> uh, he's trying. Is this the penna? I don't know. He's going to flash in. Shreema Shuffle. So and he aggressive. is greedy. 900 gold on to Edgo as he dances away. No, nah, I'm but telling But I mean, look at this gameplay. They're not taking this seriously. Oh, yeah, for sure I mean, not. And that's disrespectful on their part. But, you know, it's whatever. Like I said, it's not good to create a vendetta, a vendetta against teams like Mines. Because the last time they created a vendetta against teams like Mines... We took them to game three at the CCL final yeah. and scared them shitless. <laughs> so, And then they proceeded to lose. I do not. I do not. The I ward CCL. you, NDSU people. Do not create a vendetta that's not necessary. I mean, it, sh it should just be played out. I, I, Lucian doing this, he's done this twice now. He's, he's just, he's, I don't want to say playing for fun, but he, he's not competitively doing it because that was stupid. Yeah, now we're diving into Zira as an ADC. And, right? and yeah, you're giving a, a Zira 900 gold shutdown. That's just rough. <laughs> I mean, good for us. Just not good for them. Right? Another objective bounty. Paranoia. Going to be landing here. Yeah, yeah it's Zira. Be just, yeah. Way out. Not sure what he was doing there when he, he knew was trying to that all of them were going to be there. Yeah, he was just trying to pick up that objective bounty, I think, but he just overstepped his bounds. And they're just going to get this for free. I don't know if they have the damage. They're taking it really slow. Illusion's coming. They might try to trade this for Dragon. That might be the play mm. here. They might just say, okay, you get Baron, but you don't get Soul. When's it coming up? The Dragon. Soul's up in 25 seconds. Yeah, that's yeah, Baron for sure. I'm gonna go straight there, I think, get Soul. Yeah, Rocket gonna go wide, and he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Are we down any players? No. Everybody's up. That was good route. It'll buy time and space. But I, I mean, honestly, this team fight I'm from the NDSU sure has been so good. It doesn't matter. Oh, man. Smippy almost taken half. Oh, I'm not able to get the upgrade out. Oh, oh man. Oh. Just a little bit overstepped there. As years on the way. Ooh. They just Ooh, have to buy time. Call the Forge God's going to come down. He misses. Yeah, Messe kick is going to do quite a bit for him. Oh, nice Yee. kill, though. Yi. Got him. And Azir. Does Yi go down? No. Close. Oh, he's it's fast. Right here. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh but the shielding from Karma. Him. Yeah. Yeah, Edgar won't I have a chance without Truth going to take that kill I think away. that's game. That's got to be game. Yeah. This is not looking very good. I mean, we're almost, we're back to 10k gold lead, and they've got Soul and Baron. This is just... I mean, this is kind of a game that NDSU is favored to win. And yeah, honestly, I, I mean, think this is a good showing from NDSU. I, I think we got to do a little studying. I, yeah. I, I think they studied us. Yeah. And it and doesn't seem like we did that. No. And I could guarantee you we didn't. Because I, I know that little bit of uh, hate mail there from uh, Jinx. Stop in the back. Oh. But honestly, I don't know. TF was kind of dangerous game one, and honestly... The ADC is really good. Like yeah, I said, <laughs> I think bot lane is our weakest point. 
Oh, for sure. I and mean, looking at a one and nine uh, jinx. Yeah, and and their bot lane is probably their strongest point. Yeah, and so you know, it's not really optimal to see that you know our our carries can't carry. Unfortunately, you know what? He's trying. <laughs> he, he is, is trying. trying. But uh, you know, at this point, he's got to face an eight no nocturne, a twelve and three Lucian, and the Lucian he has to focus. Uh, on one or the other, you can't choose both. It, it usually ends up being he gets half health before he gets to the first person he can get to because Lucian does so much damage. Yeah, Yi's top lane. Uh, I yeah. think he sees Fire Alpha is gonna head towards the mid lane here as the siege of the base begins. Uh, they're gonna get this almost instantly. Yeah, they might get that bottom tower. This might too. be the end. Mines just has to find anything called for. Jad's going to come out early here. Here it goes. Redirect is getting yes, a little bit is. wide. But without truth, he lead target. Ooh, Paranoid going to be popped. Followed up by an amazing and first divide, but it's going to be cleansed. Chaos finds the first kill. Chains of the, uh, Corruption is going to go down. It's a one person for one yet. Yeah, Garlic's still alive. Everyone's still alive. Ooh, Ooh, Garlic no, will go down. Smithy's sort of follow. Edgo and trying to do what he can. He's doing quite he's a bit of damage. So, oh. Oh, really well done there. Elusive, the last one remaining. As he's going to be walked on here, Chaos is going to walk in. Yeah, the Jinx rocket. And that's Gets a pen kill for Lucian. But that's two kills for Jinx. That is game. Though. In return, but I don't think. Yeah, that's game. That, yeah, I, I, I don't think that uh, Mines could do anything about this. Well, Yi's coming up in 14 seconds, so. Actually, I don't think they have the damage to, to end. If Yi's coming up that soon, you know, they might pay here with some lives. But they're going to try to end. No, they're not, actually. They're going to back off. They see the so we, we get one more fight. Yeah, one more fight, and that's game. We are still 10K. We're actually not <laughs> too terrible. Yeah, it's, it's still we're not losing or gaining. Round. Round. We're just sitting. Honestly, yeah, I think I think we're just gonna wait for the next el like elder probably, and yeah. we're gonna fight over elder, and that'll decide who wins the game. Yeah, I think if we somehow manage to pull this out of our ass in elder, we'll win the game. If we don't, we're losing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it just I don't know I don't know even, I can't, I don't know if I can see mines coming back from this stealing again. Ten yeah, stealing a, an objective. I think yeah. that's. Elder, really. Baron won't make a difference for yeah. us. It'll stall. 10k is just such a huge goal lead to pass up. Garlic could be caught out here. He yeah, is. I think he gets out, though. Oh, uh, no. no. Just so much damage from the culling there. And the healing from Milio and the shielding from Karma. He's got so much safety. 18 and 4. Yeah, protect the president, just annihilating the mine's front line as if it doesn't exist. And that's 38 seconds. On that top laner. And they're getting that tower. Yeah. There's no way that no Baron buff? I'm not sure. They, without Horn, I don't know. They might just try to end here. I don't know. They're going to try. Echo still alive. Some good damage is alive here. Tower's half. And it takes one bad play from NDSU to really mess this up. E, almost half health now. Jeez. Karma is doing so much damage. It's insane. Karma gonna be a little Just bit over here. Just bullying Jinx. Ugh. He I having to go back already because he's half health again. There we go. Call the Forge God's gonna go out early as the first Nexus Tower goes down. Gonna hit two onto the back line. Azir finds one, but Paranoia gonna find him. Mines uh, is trying to get something that's... here. Storm Stars goes down. The damaged main characters are gone as elusive. Death Realm is gonna come maybe? through. He finds one. They're gonna be on the run. Mines is able to turn this fight at the Nexus. That is one down. That's two down. That is four kills for our Yi. That is what Mines needed out of a fight there, but with and Nexus... And Baron's up, so they're going to go grab Baron immediately after, and we're going to be fighting for Elder. Yeah, I, I I don't know. That that was a rough fight for NDSU, but NDSU could just run at the Nexus. They're in a good spot where that is possible. I think we're going to get Baron here, so we're going to have Baron minions backing us up. Are you sure? Because Flex are looking mighty low here. Okay, well, we should get Baron Hopefully we yep. get death Baron, and then we and then we have to fight for Elder. If they get Elder, they win. Yeah, Lucian's just seconds. gonna roll through us, and he's gonna die instantly. Yeah, it looks like the calls are gonna be headed towards the bot side of this map, and it will be an Elder fight for the the rest of this game. And honestly, this is the last fight of the game. Yeah, this. It is doesn't it. matter who wins this, but it, it's gonna be a, a rundown mid because Mines does have. They have Baron, so if we win, they Elder. have Baron, and they have at least five 
of the void grabs. I don't know how yep. many they got, but I know they have five because the grubbies can spawn. So and look at their warding in our jungle though. That's yeah, gonna be they huge. They're aware storm stars. Ooh, gonna be. Oh, that's not good. Elusive gonna be caught out early. Can he die? Ooh, Ooh he's out. Close, but he's he's got to go back now. That's and a now huge we're down a player for the elder. Yeah. So I, I think what's gonna happen here, what has to happen, is he has he a flash? He doesn't. I don't I'm know. Say it's got to be a steal. That's the only way we're. Yeah, mine's gonna walk in this fight. It's maybe gonna be caught out early here. I think Snippy just goes in with everything he's got. I mean, dies keep Lucian it. off of. Ooh, Lucian's gonna burn Coling early. That's actually really good for the mine. Dragon. It doesn't matter. We're getting the these good. They're gonna get it. Yep, yeah. they got it. Call of Forge God's gonna go down a little uh, bit late here, I followed up by Paranoia. Paranoia is gonna be dropped, and that is huge for this NDSU team. That is a yeah, huge Emperor's Divide. He's oh. gonna go golden. It buys him time. I, Flash Root. It's, it. Yeah, that's it's it. over. NDSU yeah. just has the brighter side of this fight. And not Lucian, I guess. <laughs> Lucian goes down, but just doesn't ah, look that's wise. Smippy Dog, just there's not much he can do. He goes black shielded, but he's able to block. Chain of Corruption going to drop. It buys him some space and time, but it's just not enough as it's just Garlic and him. And Garlic left to defend against the entirety of NDSU's team. Uh, yeah. And it's just over. NDSU, again, just showing the prowess of their team and doing a fantastic job in game two. Wow. What a game. What yeah. a series. Again, I, I, I have to agree with you. You said it was going to be a stomp or it was going to be close, and I don't think and it was it close was at all. It was a complete stomp. Yeah. He and, got smashed. I mean, we had some good fights. We had some ups and some downs, but ultimately, you yeah, know, you whether or not whose fault it was, I just think it was a team difference. You know what? Yi really tried, though. Yeah. I think our jungler really tried in both games. He, he was our sliver of hope in both games for a little bit. And we started off really strong, actually. So Absolutely. You know, especially in game one, we started off real strong. And game game two felt like a, a stomp kind of from the beginning. You know, um, I, I think we got a lot to learn. I, I think yeah. this is a learning experience. And for yeah. honestly, this for, is for his season. first season in a competitive environment. And he, he, as a whole, this whole team has t a time to grow. This is only week three of seven in yeah, CCL. So, yeah, we're, so we're sitting okay. We're two and one. Right. And so that just brings to the question is if we can beat DSU for that second seed spot. Right. So, I mean, NDSU has got a free and clear season after this. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I think we are their biggest competition. And if they actually happen to lose, which would be insane if they did, because this, this is a good team. This is a solid team. It's, it's a team I have faith in, at least. Um, you know, if they manage to lose, then we're tied for first if we can beat DSU. So I think, you know, you guys got to make sure you turn in tune in for that DSU game. I think we actually, I don't know who we play next week, actually. I can double check that. But while I double check that, let's get straight on to the Mighty and Media MVP. We'll start with MVP, and I think this one's an Bot obvious lane. chaos yeah. chaos theory. Both the, games. I, you know, there's a difference, right? So looking at last week's game, UNL, Mo Jojo, he was fed as hell, and he still didn't carry. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. But he just he but, carried it on his back. But you look at chaos. They get him fed, and he does the work. He, he puts they didn't the even do it. They didn't get him fed. He got himself fed. Right, and he played a phenomenal uh, game. Yeah, he was... He did really well. All I, round, literally all round, played fantastic. I think, yeah, he outclassed his entire team, in my opinion. I, I think he played insanely well. I, I think it was a fun. It was really fun to watch. And honestly, I'm a big fan of Chaos as a whole. You know, Chaos without Truth bot lane has been a really strong bot lane ever since even we had Mointman to sincere support. Ever since then, you know, this was always such a strong bot lane. Yeah. And so, honestly... I have I have faith in these guys to go pretty far. We actually play Augustana next week. Oh, we okay. Play? So we must play DSU week five then. Because we have a bye week eight. Oh, nice. So, uh, yeah, somehow we always manage with the bye. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to double check. Yeah, five. Yeah, we play DSU week five. So, so we play Augustana next week. Week five, we play DSU. Week six, we play Jamestown. Okay. And then week seven, we have a bye. So, but anyway, back to the game here. You know, I think Chaos and Without Truth played a really good game. I, I really think Stormstars played a good game, but he wasn't as impactful as I'd like. Yeah, he, really, he really wasn't. Crocodile showing up on the Nocturne game two after we talked so much Jesus. shit about it. Yeah, well, it was really bad the first game, so. But honestly, you know, showing up, making the difference, you know, doing yeah, really well. well. I, I Personally, I think Fire Alpha underperformed. 
I, I think, yeah, you got I mean, smoked, top lane. I think Garlic, Garlic did a really good them. job. Yeah. But, you know, as soon as, you know, Crocodile and Stormstars made their way up top, yeah. it was just over. I mean, Orn is a good champion, but he relies on his team. Right, but exactly. He's, he's, he's a lane bully, and then he is a team fighter. He will, he will attempt to assist, but he won't always guarantee the game. He's yeah. not a carry champion by any means. He, he's a solid champion in the fact that he can provide insane peel. But if he, who he's peeling for can't do anything, right. it's useless. Yeah. So I agree with that. But speaking of garlic, on to Mighty and Needy Award. The Mighty and Needy Award, fantastic name, crowned, coined by me of all people. Uh, we got to um, talk about this. It's going to be a hard one. It is hard. Garlic did really well the second game, but he did really poorly the first game. I Yeah, that's true. I also liked Edgo. He showed up in game two with a, a quite a few fantastic yeah. shuffles. And honestly, he was the only one doing damage for the entirety of mine. Really, you, you did you did some bit. good work too. Yeah, and say so you saved them. Yeah, I hate to say, but you can't give it to the bot lane. No, uh, no. Bot lane very underperformed. They were even given like okay, I can't say that actually because game one, Elusive did a lot better than I thought it was going to. Do. On the uh, Ezreal, it just it w didn't do anything, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it post was, twenty it was minutes was kind of useless. TF against TF, it was it was rough, especially the Braum. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he made he things really hard. He, he didn't feed the TF. No, he didn't. The TF no, came he, out of nowhere. He was pretty consistent the first game, but the second game, yeah. uh, which granted wasn't completely his fault, it, it just got s smoked. They focused him as soon as they learned yeah. Lucian was winning. They just funneled Lucian and bullied him out, right? Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Glad to see you in the chat. Um, honestly, you know, Samippy, he's come a long way from where he used to be. Uh, but, again, there was just a lot of questionable plays, stepping up when he shouldn't have been, just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So he's got a lot to learn yet. He's, before I can he's give gotten him a lot better, though. He's but he has, has gotten improved. a lot better. He definitely has improved a metric Literally a metric time. I, I think his warding, since last season. Yes, warding I mean and stuff needs to improve a little bit too. Yeah, of course. And you know, I know, I know, elusive works a lot with him on that. So hopefully that'll change heading into Augustana. Um, but ultimately, my my pick is between Flexerve and Edgo. That's kind of my two. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you have any thoughts about it. I don't think our jungle played particularly great in the first game. To be fair, he was put on the... A lot of those stuns that were really necessary. To yeah, but the Syndra gameplay, game I... It wasn't the greatest. It's not what we would have really liked to see. No, but I don't think it was bad. And no. I, if we look at the first game, I think he probably played the best. I would agree with that. Yeah, so uh, even... Uh, and with the damage charts, with the Azir, I, I think oh. I'd have to give it to Kevin. Honestly, reluctantly. I agree, agree. I think I could go with that. Yeah. But that's not the downplay Flexer. Flexer played a fantastic no, game, he, too. He honestly kept that game going. Yeah, and honestly, he kept game one going, too. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was trying his best. It's just Udyr is the champion of... Uh, many flaws and it's just not a champion that can carry very much you can't put a team on your back as a deer i don't think unless you're extremely fat right but with the yi he definitely kept the game going you're right i think edgo played the most consistent tonight i think he especially in the storm stars storm stars a fantastic mid laner and again i think edgo showed up and did a really good job yeah so I think that that means tonight our MVP is Chaos, Chaos Theory, and our Mighty and Needy Award winner is Edgo. I can hear him screaming at the top of his lungs right now because <laughs> I barely give him this award. So for those of you home that don't know what Mighty and Needy or MVP means, it basically means nothing because their opinions are worthless. I mean, come on, we're a bunch I, of I, I, I pay to give y'all my opinion. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it just means we love you. Keep doing what you do best, and uh, we can't wait to see you guys in the postseason. Uh, I think we are ready to end this broadcast. If you have any final words to say about these last two games. No, I don't think I do. It, it was a rough one. Yeah. And, you know, you never really like to see it, especially when mine's performing way better than we normally do. I'm, I'm still hopeful. I, I think yes. we still have a really good team. I think maybe we need to study our opponents. Yeah, and I the, think the NAMI ban is proof that. I think it's really dangerous because NDSU definitely played a, uh, not a sloppy game too. But a toxic game, too. Very toxic. And I think that'll be an issue in the postseason. 
because Nick holds a vendetta bad. And I've seen his vendettas turn into pure rage, and you saw what happened to Green Guy yeah. in, in the finals. Yeah. He, Green Guy in the season camped, lane camped him two games in a row, and he was like 0-7 both games. And then we go in, and then <laughs> Green Guy went like 0-15 in the first game yeah, yeah. because Nick was like, all right, because Nick was playing jungle at the time. Mm-hmm. Nick was like, all right, I'm going to camp him, see how he likes it. Yeah. And so having a vendetta is not a good thing for Nick because he will find a way. He's going to spend the rest of the semester crafting a way to mess these guys up in the finals. And so honestly, I'm hoping we can get there. Yeah, yeah so, I agree. But ultimately, possible. I think this team can do it. But with that, I think I can bring in an end to tonight's broadcast, yep. I believe. So I'd like to shout out our sponsors, Blue Peak, Live Hospitality, Omnitech, Li- or Link Tech, uh, Under Armour, Intel, and Lenovo. Thank you guys so much. You guys do so much for the channel. An extra shout out to Blue Peak. They are the peak of entertainment. Those guys do a lot for us here. Um, you can check them out at mybluepeak.com. Uh, another shout out to Live Hospitality. Again, they do a lot for the channel, and they support our uh, association a lot so huge shout out to those guys you can check them out at uh, i think it's live at home.com i did check it i think it's live at home.com so make sure to check those guys out also with that make sure to check us out on social media you get to hang out and see our players in person you know a little bit more personal of a showing from us you know fun videos like nick trying to touch grass <laughs> it's always a blast on that so make sure to check us out on instagram facebook and i guess we have a twitter too you can check our YouTube. Our, our full broadcasts are always posted on there, so you can always find us there after the fact. Um, I also follow us, subscribe on Twitch. All of that is very helpful. Every little bit does help us here at the channel. Uh, we do have to pay rent. You know how it is. You got to pay the bills, unfortunately. So make sure to check us out on all of that. But any final thoughts before we send it away? I don't think I have any. I, I think... My final thoughts are this. I think Mines has a lot to be desired after this game. I think studying. I, I think w- we need to look at our opponents. I, yes. I think we're not doing that. I agree. I think, you know, I if I'm Mines, I'm not, I'm upset with this. Definitely yeah, you course. guys are comparable teams and you guys play well, but this is not the game that Mines wanted. No, ever. I mean, if we're playing our best and we're looking to counter their strongest points, which is their ADC, I think we play a lot better. So, but I, there's a lot to learn from this, and yep. I think Mines will take that into the postseason. Uh, so, with that, I think that is all I have for you tonight. So, make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, we have Monday night or Tuesday night Overwatch. Uh, I do not know who they're playing, but make sure you tune in tonight for or tomorrow night for Overwatch. Wednesday night we have Valorant starting at 6 p.m. I don't know who they're playing either, but. Probably some team that's pretty good. Actually, no, their bracket is kind of open, isn't it? Yeah, it's free. It's free, though. But, uh, and then Thursday, we have Smash. Um, we also have Rocket League. Rocket League, you may have noticed that Rocket League didn't happen on Sunday. It did get rescheduled for Thursday night. So we may have time to stream that. I'm not sure. I don't have times. But for sure, Smash on Thursday night. So make sure you stay tuned for those things. But it has been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining us. My name is Coach T. I'm Compton. And we'll catch you on the next stream. Goodbye.
lost my life, not afraid to die. Time to make you cry, time to put a price all up on your head. Do just what I said. Watch your feel you full of dread till you go The night